Okay. I think everyone heard that. But hi, yes, hello everyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hello. You know what? I, I need to change the audio for this. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, you should, you should probably turn the, the volume down. <laughs> well, let me like turn the master volume down. Okay, there we go. Now that's manageable. <laughs> well, yeah, we we'll play more anime boy, anime boy games. Holy crap! Yow yow yow! <laughs> Groms, your nick, your nicknames increase. <laughs> I didn't even realize what they were saying. <laughs> so, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, crow. <laughs> you were gonna start thinking you're a Fujoshi or something. I'm not a Fujoshi. I, I emoji. <laughs> I'm side I eyeing. Emoji. I'm side eyeing you right now. <laughs> Listen, we we don't shame. We accept all kinds. Hmm. <clears throat> This is your stream. This is your place. Your truth. Speak it. <laughs> what is my truth? I don't know. <laughs> you hot anime boys kissing each other? <laughs> is that the truth you want or, you know? Is that the, the truth that's been thrust upon you? Look, I read some BL, but I don't- I'm not like so obsessed with it. <laughs> Do you like the fact when two men kiss, huh? <laughs> oh my god, the nicknames increase now. It's like Fujo Kiri Otome. Does it? Do you like it when two men cuddle? <laughs> yeah. Do you like? Do you like it when? Do you like it when two men <laughs> hold each other? <laughs> God, that reminds me of like an episode from like uh, what was it that one anime that's kind of like uh, ah shit what was it I called? think it was the daily lives of high school boys it was it was similar to that but like uh, it was all it was all girls but not but not the one in this in the uh, same anime oh asobe asobase not that one another one oh my god how many of them are there <laughs> Yeah, there's one where it's like the, uh, just that's about that's about girls and they they were all so dumb and basically one of the characters ha has something called BL eyes, <laughs> where every single time she sees two two guys together, she uh all she could imagine is like them kissing or like cuddling or just in you know BL situations. Was that was that Nichi Joe? No, right? No, 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 it was. It, I think it was called Nichi something Nichi Joe, but not ni but like not that Nichi Joe. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Because that sounds familiar. The BLI sounds familiar because I feel like I've seen it before. Um <laughs> This is gonna be a fun stream. Oh <laughs> wasteful days of high school girl. Mmm Hold on. Yeah. What's up? Hi, Chad. Hi, Grom. Hello. Oh yeah, I should introduce. I, I should. I should introduce myself. Uh, my, my name is. Uh, my name is Crow.
Hi. If you were here for Otome's previous stream where uh, she played, uh, what was the game? Touch Starve? Yeah, Touch Starve. If you were here for the Touch Starve stream, I also did the, the voices for all the boys in that one as well. That one was more of a spur of the moment thing, though. This one is more of a planned out thing, so I am way yeah. more prepared. Also, I am. Hmm? Yeah, Crow is here by choice. <laughs> yes, this time it's not against my will. <laughs> um, so I, <laughs> I will be here to voice the anime boys with my very, um, average voice acting skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, choice if you are in danger. I am not holding him against his will this time. No, 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 not this time. This time is, it's voluntary. Don't you worry. <laughs> but yeah, that was, uh... Mama Yugiri, she was just asking if I want to go out If I want to go out and hang out with her and probably my aunt or something But I'm just like mm. It's good, I already went out yesterday, I'm good No mother, <laughs> no mother I will stay inside and play a game about boys kissing <laughs> But okay, new game Finally, we are, we are playing Oh god, I just hurt my stomach. Oh yeah, so there is an option to turn it off. Okay. So we are gonna turn it off for... For yeah, Twitch's sake. For, the sake of, for, for Twitch's sake, yeah. I, that, that's, not, that's not... But, uh, <clears throat> but on my own time, I'll turn it on, so... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> on my own time, I'll look at all the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's what I did for Hoonie Pop. I did. I didn't play Hoonie Pop on on any stream at all. But it's all on for me. So yeah. okay. So content warning. Warning is everyone. This game is eighteen plus and strictly for adult viewing only. It contains it contains themes and depictions of violence, murder, blood, drug use, toxic and abusive relationships, and explicit sexual content. Your discretion is advised, everyone. But we are going to turn off explicit scenes because we are streaming. Yes. <laughs> I know I know nothing about this. Otome was the one who suggested this, so we're we're gonna <laughs> see what we've gotten ourselves into. Yeah. Tell your mom I said happy mother's day. Bro, I gave it to my homie stream yesterday and said chat, tell your mom happy mother's day. Actually don't I'll tell her later tonight. <laughs> Groms Yeah. Good we're, one. we're gonna turn off. Ex exquisite scene. Sorry, we won't see any sexy times on on stream. So, why would a person take someone's life? Did not expect animation. Eh, who knows? Maybe people make a living off that sort of thing. Why? What's eating you? <laughs> These, these characters already are giving such femboy energy. Nothing really. <laughs> just you know what I mean? Gone. I think it's just the art style. Speaking of, a little bit, but it's also I'm the hungry. body shapes. Let's go get something. They're very slender, you know. Maybe later tonight. Like, look at him. He's doing the femboy be. pose. <laughs> the femboy pose. <laughs> yeah, they sit on the bed with their legs crossed. <laughs> this is about to be the most myth story ever. I can tell. When do they fuck? I don't know when they <laughs> fuck, but I don't. I don't think we'll be able That's to see them fuck be. anyway. Listen, we're all we're all here for some trashy, for some trashy uh, BL action. All right. Heck yeah. Always a fun. Oh, time. we start. Okay. Thoughts. I wonder. I wonder if it's if they voiced it though, because it seems like they probably voiced it. Uh, I think they do. There are some lines that are voiced, but I don't think it's mm. the whole game because I I did check it out. So yeah, I don't think it's the whole game. Okay. All right, narration. Do you want to be the narrator again? Yeah, I'll do the narration, but <laughs> the anime boys are all yours. Okay. Yeah. Don't say it like that. <laughs> the anime boys are all yours, Crow. Stop. No. Okay. 
High above the restless heartbeat of the city, a hooded figure crouched near the edge of a towering skyscraper. Strands of bright pink hair were jostled about as a gust of wind blew through them. His steely gaze scanned the flow of traffic in the bustling crowd below. It was as if he were, he were waiting, watching, searching for something. Or someone. Intrigue. Suddenly, a sharp buzzing cut through the night air. The masked figure reached into his pocket and pulled out a phone. He glanced at the bright screen, two words shining back at him. Target located. Suspect was seen fleeing from Strexa facility. 0915. Wordlessly, the man slid the phone back into his pocket. He turned and swiftly disappeared down the fire escape. Quite imprecise. The sound of labored breathing echoed through the alleyway as a frightened man staggered to his feet near a dumpster, clutching a purple box close to his body. Oh. It's the most non-anime looking man ever. <laughs> Looks like a dude. <laughs> Actually, it looks like a dude. Damn. Uh. <laughs> Shadows were cast along brick walls adorned in ripped posters and half hazard graffiti. One shadow stalked the other for the cover of darkness, silently approaching. Paranoia was setting in like the slow push of a syringe. What does what generic man sound like? I know, what's the most generic? What was, what, what was that? Uh oh, stream dying. Well, oh, yeah, come on. Okay. Yeah, the, the Discord cut off for a second there, too, but I think we're good. What was that? <laughs> the, gra the man gripped at his chest in fear, his voice cracking in panic. Beads of sweat trickled down his furrowed brow. His wide-eyed gaze darted wildly around the alley as he tried to cover the box with his coat. He was being hunted. That, that, that. No, no wait. Just take it back. What? No, no. no. Ah. Oh, that's what he sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> I made him sillier. <laughs> The small purple box fell to the ground, knocked slightly ajar by the impact. The killer picked it up, ignoring the body next to it, and was gone soon after. Across the city. The fluorescent lights are overhead buzzed, filling the silence between the cashier and the young man at the counter. He was taking an obnoxiously long time to order his food. Something about the lazily swept floor and the water-stained ceiling tiles seemed to suggest that this was THE place for peak junk food. It was, without a doubt, Sasha's favorite burger joint in the entire city. If this was how he died, greasy burger in hand, then he was happy to go. The cashier cleared her throat impatiently. Finally, after what seemed like forever, Sasha tapped his fingers on the countertop and began his order. I'm sorry, I was distracted that entire time by just the sign Hamburg on the background. Hamburg? Um, <laughs> I'll have a... Hmm. What do you want? What, what, do you, what do you think? Imposter burger, big old beef, or onion dip? <laughs> what do those sounds appealing to you? I don't know, I'm, I mean, I'm always down for a good burger. I think I like the sound of big old beef, mostly because I'm, I'm not a big fan of too much onion in like burgor. <laughs> onion, yeah, onion death sounds like uh, too much. I have a friend, I have a friend I know who absolutely loves onion, like overloading everything with onion, and it is the worst thing in the world when we have to ride in a car, holding our food to like go <laughs> back to our friend's place, and it just the place just reeks of it and it's the worst thing ever i hate it anyways big old beef is my choice i guess we'll go with big That's old beef said. then <laughs> i'll have the big old beef no lettuce okay. cashier was a lady fuck i thought you were gonna do a lady <laughs> voice okay 
Okay, that will be 46. <laughs> Did you want me to do a lady voice? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what would your lady voice sound like? Uh, not good, I guess. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, Grom said no lettuce? He a bottom for real. Oh my god, is that, that what constitutes it? No lettuce? <laughs> to be fair, I don't know the to be fair, I sometimes ask for no lettuce on my burger too. What does that say about you? I, I like meat. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> mm. Okay, that'll be 460. I don't know, P. I don't know what, what's the name of that credit, so. Sasha pulled out his C card and tapped it against the register. Okay. Yeah, cool. See you later. Later, Sasha. The cashier set the to-go bag inside, beside the register and shot him a quick finger gun goodbye. Oh god. <laughs> He's a dork. <laughs> Cock card. Crom, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I was thinking the same thing. I just didn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> I, I, my thought was that, is this supposed to be like V card but C card? <laughs> Oh, is that what they were going for? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it, that is, but <laughs> that's where my, really my mind went. <laughs> you really think I'll hold back? I, I, you know, I'm sorry, I doubted you. <laughs> Sasha swiped the goods off the counter and left the hole in the wall, impatiently digging into the paperback to retrieve and unwrap his burger. Not wasting a second, he shoved the burger into his mouth, chewing delightedly. Nice. Oh man, this is the best. I kind of want a burger, but I had a burger yesterday, so... Forgot the trick. Oh, here, yeah, this is the trick to make your mouth sound full. I remember now. Okay. Mm. Unless it is cancelable, I'm not holding back. I had four Italian sausages today. <laughs> Damn, dude. Now, <clears throat> Night had settled over the city and painted the buildings in hues of purple and blue. A string of street lights led a path down the empty side road guiding pedestrians home from their busy day. Sasha, with his burger in hand, passed by a collection of vending machines near an alley intersection. His free hand dug into his pocket and pulled out his C-card, pressing it to the vending machine <laughs> scanner. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> pulled out his C-card, pressing it to the vending machine scanner. Just, just trying to get that image out of your head. No, 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 no. It's there. It's firmly planted. It's firmly planted, unfortunately. <laughs> Grums, no. Jesus, <laughs> The machine flashed a lack of funds error code. Sasha groaned. His balance was clearly drained. He had no cash on him, and Lin was not a good currency. So he's broke, same as all of us. Hello, MGS Aqua. Welcome to the stream. Hey, you got Aqua. here at a very uh, strange time, but welcome. We just started. Yeah, we just shoved a C card to a scanner. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine being a bottom and not having a sugar daddy. Like. <laughs> oh, man. With a defeated sigh, Sasha continued on. It wasn't often that he walked this way when heading home. The graffitied walls and familiar mishmash of building styles were always a welcoming sight though. Sasha glanced over at a small playground near the side street he was on, noticing the rusty equipment and how very neglected it all seemed. He grinned. Wow, I haven't come this way in forever. I used to hang out here all the time. Nostalgia nudged at him as he drew closer to the playground, taking taking in the familiar sight curiously. I played at this park every day after school. Not that there's really much to play with. And now he's a drug dealer. We don't know that yet. Eh. <laughs> the playground looks exactly the same as it always has. Just a big, empty, dirt lot. Well, and the swings. And, uh... One busted slide, and the monkey bars that fell off once. Masha walked over to the empty swings and slowly sat down, unwrapping the rest of his burger. 
Oh man, that's like <laughs> that's that's peak pathetic man right there. He's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you did you ever did you actually do that? You you have a you have food in your hand and no. you sit in the swings. <laughs> no, not in a swing. But you, you know you ever have one of those. You ever you ever have one of those days, Chad, where you fucking where you just you just not have you're having a rough week. You go you, you go to a fast food place. You get yourself like a fucking big disgusting burger. You just kind of sit in your car and just like slowly take bites out of it. Just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> me two hours ago see exactly you get it you know that feeling it's that rock bottom feeling <laughs> i think i think that's me but eat but like eating popcorn chicken in the locker room no 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 <laughs> yeah i think it yeah sometimes i'll be waiting for my ride home it, but then it'll be too it still takes time for someone to come to pick me up so i would sit in my lock in in the locker room and just eat food by myself and it's like oh, <laughs> it's the a true the true feeling <laughs> <laughs> drove to mcdonald's dropped 30 bucks on food on myself one ice cream cone 20 nuggies one large fry two cheeseburgers and a big mac and a coke <laughs> that's that's peak i'm sad and i just <laughs> need something i get you it's that for me it'll just be literally just chicken nuggies and fries the whole time i think yesterday i think yesterday uh i wasn't like being sad or anything i just got home from watching like the mario movie and i bought myself a, like a burger meal and i and you know when i got home there was no electricity and so i thought oh, you know what it's fine i have like a cold drink i have a, a very cold uh a large coke with me so i'm fine but you know what happened i accidentally spilled my whole coke oh uh, no <laughs> i spilled it i'm just and i even went like no <laughs> so, someone said mario movie hi vs welcome you're just in time yeah you're just in time we just there's a lot of twinks so far you're 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 gonna have a fun time vs yeah the gay agenda is coming but yeah <laughs> but yeah i spilled my 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 large coke and i just went like no with like the, the uh. most pitiful wine ever <laughs> <laughs> thankfully thankfully my, my mama yukiri she knocked on my door and said hey you want to head out head out somewhere because uh we're, no one no one wants to sit at home where it's like fucking hot so, and eventually I got another coke. It's fine. It was fine. <laughs> but <laughs> the problem fixed itself. Problem fixed itself. But okay. He took another bite and looked around at the desolate playscape. His free hand grabbed onto the rusted chain that held him up while he swung back and forth a bit. Honestly though, this part kind of sucks. Surprised it wasn't bulldozed for apartments or something. Kids didn't really play here back then, and they still don't. I mean, look at this place. <laughs> Hell yeah, the gay agenda. <laughs> he laughed to himself quietly, taking another bite of the burger. He was far too hungry to wait until he got all the way home to finish eating. Pretty much just a place for teens to smoke and skip class. I mean, even I did it. Back then, there weren't a lot of kids to hang out with, really. I guess Mishka was there after a while, but he doesn't count. It's whatever. Be sitting in an empty apartment every night. I want to sit in an empty apartment every night. Lasha dug the tip of his shoe into the mulch beneath him, lost in thought, momentarily forgetting the world around him while memories played out in his mind. stayed out pretty late when the sun disappeared behind the crush Whoa. oh this is very russian because of right? I don't this is very that russian khrushchevka Krush near the school i'd head home oh oh, oh they even nice. included it like it gives you definitions nice a soviet style yeah. low cost concrete apartment building developed in the 1960s oh Ah, I see. You don't often see games that are actually putting definitions, if at all. Mm -hmm. 
That's nice. Okay. Walking home alone was fine since we didn't live very far. Plus, there was this little corner store right by our apartment that I always stopped in. That place had everything. Like, I could grab dinner for me and mom and she, when she worked late. I'd also pick her up some of those apple pidoskis. Oh, I know what those are. Those apple pidoskis she loves so much. I swear, sugar runs through her veins. For anyone who doesn't know, a Russian and Ukrainian stuffed bun with various fillings can be baked or fried. Yeah. Pretty good. <clears throat> Probably where I get it from. Still can't stay mad at me if I give her one of those. He grinned fondly at the thought. Man, time really flies. Ugh. Not too far off with his voice, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Sasha, startled by the sound of his phone buzzing away in his pocket, reached into his jacket and pulled out the device. Oh, oh, am I supposed to actually click that? Oh. Hey man, Alexi gave me this number and said if I want anything to meet up with you. Is that good? My place or yours, lol? Oh shit. Oh, what do you what do you think? Very tense. I feel like Sasha's a cautious guy. I would go with the top choice. This one? Who is this? Yeah. Okay. They're in house tomorrow at Jukebox, lol. Oh. <laughs> I was like, should I, should I read these or is it text? Yeah. Um. He shoved his phone back into his pocket, his brows furrowing in irritation. Just give my number to anyone. That's fine. Totally not creepy at all. Grom's just like, so is his mom dead? <laughs> yeah, is he what I think he is? He's a drug dealer. Yeah, yes. he's a drug dealer. It's this game is about drugs. In BL, but also drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the earlier feeling of fondness had melted into agitation. Sasha crumpled the burger wrapper into a small ball and tossed it into a nearby recycling can as he stood from the swing. Getting really late now. Should probably head out. He glanced over his shoulder at the empty alley behind him, a small chill prickling the back of his neck. Yeah, it was time to go. The street lights began to spread out the further he walked, becoming less and less frequent along the way. The, the darker the paths become, they came. Fuck, English. The more Sasha found himself glancing over his shoulder, his hands shoved into his pockets. His pace quickened, not even bothering to stop when he passed the corner store despite the aroma of apple piroshkis. Neon signs flickered irregularly in the darkened shop windows that lined the street. The occasional pedestrian became few and far between. Sasha looked up and saw he was approaching his apartment building, a newfound urgency ballooning in his chest. Keys? Where were his keys? Flies beat against the corridor light bulb behind him. Sasha stood in front of his apartment door, hands fumbling for the keys he knew he had he knew had to be oh, somewhere no, he's him. Doing, he's doing the horror movie thing where he, he's trying to get his keys, but he's messing up. He's messing up. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. The killer's going to find him. The killer's slowly approaching, very, very slowly, enough time for him to avoid it. <laughs> I remember there was like a, a funny like TikTok trend, trend people were doing where it's like, how fast can you get inside while someone's chasing after you? Yeah. <laughs> Nightmarish. <laughs> like... Yes, I thought he was doing something else, not gonna lie. What were you did you think he was like selling himself? Hey listen. Get that bag, you know? Yeah, I gotta get the muns, one way or another. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gotta use that C card for something. Yeah, gotta gotta <laughs> put that pussy to work, you know? 
<laughs> you say. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go you know what? Some, you know what? You know what? In some point, I think, I think you coming to my stream is just corrupting you. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> he sighed with relief when he found them and quickly shoved the small key into the deadbolt, turning it sharply. Dot dot dot. <gasps> there was no click of the no. lock. Something's oh, inside the apartment. Asha's heart fell into his stomach. Did I leave this unlocked? Uh, I could have sworn I locked it. His heart raised in his chest. What is this apartment? As quiet and careful as he could, Sasha turned the handle and pushed. The door eased open a crack and slowly widened enough for him to slide through. His eyes were wide in the darkness of the small studio apartment, trying to adjust as best they could. He cautiously reached over and set the keys onto the TV stand next to him. Something had been knocked over. Something close. He turned his head in the direction of the noise, now noticing the light that shone through the crack of the bathroom door. Nani? I, that looked like the persona cut in for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like you know in, in Persona 5 when they do the all out attack that's like fucking that's what I just thought it was <laughs> you know what you know what the, earlier with like the the drug de dealers uh a headshot earlier it had like a tiny bit of like Persona style on it I feel like this this probably came out post Persona 5 because I, I definitely there's been like more of an emphasis on like UI stuff and like cut anime cut in since then I've noticed like everyone really wants that like intense style which is not a bad style so yeah it's, it's just, not a bad style it's just style. crazy when you can it's just funny when you can see it like the influence of it you know especially, especially Persona 5 that one was just like full style they went all in oh yeah oh yeah I think <clears> Persona <throat> in general has always been like all in with their, with like style uh Persona 3 onward Persona 1 and 2 not so much Dude, I had I have dreams like this where I'm trying to lock the door before Killer came out for me. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. I mean, to be fair, like I I just have dreams where people chase after me. At this point, it's like a normal occurrence. Jesus. Weapon. He needed a weapon. As silently as he could, Sasha reached into the drawer near the TV stand and pulled out a knife. Oh. Just keep that in there by the TV stand. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Do you just have a knife in every drawer or something? Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a, I was thinking of like the TV stand. I got a knife in there for. I mean, to be fair, that's also why I keep like a a box cutter in my pencil box. Like, uh, it's useful. You know. It's useful, but also like you know, it's there just in case. I know that's strange. This, the, the funniest fact about me, well not funny but just like a weird fact. I have a I have a drawer next to me literally just labeled tools and stuff, right? And it's like screwdrivers, box cutter and stuff like that. That like Stuff that you just will randomly need because I always have random moments where I'm like, I need a screwdriver, I need like a wrench or I need like some fucking tape or something, right? And one of the things in there is a thing that I received a long time ago which is an actual fucking military grade combat knife. <laughs> um... <laughs> Like the kind you would see Leon have in Resident Evil Four. <laughs> like I just have a, I just have a combat knife. I don't know why. I just have it. I, what are you it gonna do? Are to you gonna CQC see someone? Yes. <laughs> Should the day ever arise, I have my CQC knife ready to go, and it, it, it is literally made to hold both ways, which is the funny part. Anyways, uh, continue. Enough about my knife. <laughs> like I have a box cut and I have a baseball bat, but you just have a CQC combat knife. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll show you a picture of it because it is an actual military grade fucking combat. It's like the definition of that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that sharp though. It was Anyways, <laughs> to the game. Tag to the game. <laughs> you just, no, you just decided you're having an actual tactical knife. I do have an actual tactical knife. <laughs> it was impossible to calm the heartbeat he could feel pulsing in his throat. 
took a few steps forward, holding the knife close. He advanced slowly towards the bathroom door, his heart pounding. Every hair on the back of his neck stood on end, and his hand clenched in a white-knuckled gripper on his weapon. Sasha lifted his other hand and grasped the door handle. He tried to slow his breathing with one long, shaky exhale. Suddenly, he yanked the door open with all his might and lunged into the bathroom, knife raised. This dude has... This dude has terrible, like, self-preservation skills if this is his first instinct in this situation. <laughs> like he, then again, he is a drug dealer, yeah. so... Yeah, I don't think he's, he he wants to go uh, to go call the police when he's like, it was like he's a drug dealer. <laughs> true, true. And hey, well, hey, Arisen, welcome. Hey, Arisen. Hello. Oh. No. Oh. Which twink will this be? I think it's the pink haired one. Also, my stomach made a noise again. Hell yeah, the zoom in on the crotch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sasha found himself caught in a firm grip, his knife hand immobilized. Panting, he looked up at the man's face and recognition finally filtered through his adrenaline. Instantly, irritation replaced his earlier sense of dread. Mishka, what the hell? Did I scare you? Oh my god. That Mish is not the, the voice I expected to come out of that twink. <laughs> what voice are you were you expecting? Something a little more like lighter, but that's fine. Yeah, he's supposed to be a top, so I guess they tried to make him as a top as possible. God. <laughs> yes, gay. <laughs> gay, right? Yeah. Fucking, we got, we got Vox Akuma here <laughs> giving us the goddamn. <laughs> Vox Akuma? <laughs> he had that like intonation in his voice a little bit. <laughs> All he needs is to be British. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Mishka laughed, right. his fingers uncoiling from around his friend's wrist. He stepped away and leaned casually against the doorway, his arms crossed. Are you kidding me? You couldn't just send, a, send me a text like a normal person? Instead you break in? Well, if I had a key, I wouldn't have to break in. Mishka waved his hand dismissively. No, that's not how this works. How many... Sasha sighed harshly and pinched the bridge of his nose. How many times have I said? <laughs> so you never answered. Were you scared? Mishka smirked and pushed off the doorway, heading towards the nearby couch. <sighs> I'm pissed off. Sasha swatted the air near his friend as he passed by, though this clearly didn't faze him. He sighed and followed Mishka into the living room, knife still in his hand. He opened the drawer beneath the TV and set the weapon back inside. He then swiped at the light switch near the front door. Light flooded into the rest of the apartment. Oh god, that's bright as fuck. <laughs> what? The, the, there's a picture of the cat! Oh my god, the, the picture of the cat! Oh my god, it's the fucking meme cat. It's the fucking meme cat. <laughs> and, oh no, no one can see it on stream because it's blocked by my chat. My chat. <laughs> it's the it's the crying cat uh, face. It's yeah, it's the crying cat face. Oh my god, why did they put it there? Why not? <laughs> you're still not getting a key. In fact, you're further from the key than you've ever been. <laughs> Honestly, I would probably say the same thing. Yeah, sociopathic behavior. Hugging, breaking into people's apartments. Well, does he be fair? I'm someone who. I kind of do want to learn how to lockpick. <laughs> For what reason, Antome? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, sometimes you just get locked into places. Locked into places. And I just want to, I just want to, you know, know certain things. We're not, we're not going to unpack that <laughs> one. Anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like people are <laughs> holding <laughs> That's, uh, the, uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 we'll keep going, we'll keep going. <laughs> no one's holding me hostage, okay? 
<laughs> Sasha shook his head slowly in disbelief, but couldn't help a small grin. Oh, come on. You're not totally thrilled by my lockpicking skills? One leg lifted and crossed the other while Mishka settled back into the cash cushions. No. Sasha chuckled mildly before he plopped down beside Mishka. Hmm. Alright. What would it take to get a key, hmm? He leaned towards Sasha, loosely set it, setting his arm on the back of the small couch. I think, as your best friend, I'm long overdue for one. I think you're full of it. Sasha's annoyed tone was betrayed by the small smile he wore. And there's nothing you can do to get a key. Sorry. Except for maybe cry about it. He leaned away from Mishka, reclining against the opposite end of the sofa. He made sure to push his legs into the space between them before curling up. Okay, well, now that I'm here and not going anywhere, what do you want to do? Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that got gay really fast. <laughs> I mean, it's that kind of game, so. <clears throat> yeah, but I, this, I mean, no, no build up, no nothing, just, just straight to it. Just fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're gonna see anything anyway. Explicit scenes I know, are turned that's off. That's what I'm saying. Like we, 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 we gotta, we gotta, we gotta see all our options first, then, then you know. You really want options? There's only two in this game. <laughs> well, let's just see where it goes. Breaking into my apartment is a weird way to ask if you can hang out. Okay, I get it. Ask before breaking in. Are you hungry? Yes. I just ate a burgor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my stomach has been rumbling. I'm just like, uh, I'll get oh food later God. after this. <laughs> Not waiting for an answer, Mishka pulled out his phone and started looking for delivery options. I actually already ate, so I'm good. Take the offer! It's free food! He ate a burger! But, what is this free food if you're not gonna eat it? You save it! Like, you just, just buy pizza and then heat it up later! <laughs> like, would you not do the same thing I would? <laughs> you know, I'd probably just tell them that. Uh, no, nah, I'm alright. I, I already ate. I I tell them I already ate, but I, I'll take up the offer anyway. I'd like I'd get like fries. That's like that's about as much as I would do. I'd get something small. I grab, yeah. I'd grab a whole large pizza. <laughs> Who are you, and what have you done with my Sasha? <laughs> Did she really say biz biz? Yeah, dude, there was a sound effect. <laughs> a muffled ringing was heard behind Sasha, or maybe it was beneath him. Sasha shifted around as he played a game of hot and cold to find his phone. Wow, I didn't realize it was already this late. Hey, mom. Y you want me to voice the mom? <laughs> I do give us your best mom voice, Otome. Come on. You I'm really... not the only one doing it here. <laughs> you really think I have the voice that says mom? Give it a shot. Why try out a mom voice? What, what do you think a mom sounds like? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do the voice acting, okay? <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna say it. Hi honey. Do your best Are you busy? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Fuck you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. I'm always busy, you know, adult work meetings and doing uh, stocks for adults. Uh, why? What's up? Aw, oh, my little businessman. That's so cute. Well, I'm at the market. Well, I'm on the train to the market. It's a little loud. There's a guy here playing the guitar. Can you hear it? Hang on. Did you hear it? Oh, God, that's such a hey, mom thing. Listen, listen. listen. Forget the guys. Why is his mom so hot? Because everyone's gotta be hot. Yeah, but like... 
<laughs> let's, let's, let's talk more about her. <laughs> Crow, are you MILF hunting right now? <laughs> when did I stop? Anyways, go on. <laughs> you guys, all you heard it. You heard it right here. Crow's a MILF hunter. Let's continue the story, please, madam. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, yeah, sure, MILF hunter. Did she just try to... Crow, your straight is showing? I never put it away, BS. <laughs> Not, yep. for, not for this um, stream you are. <laughs> I don't know. They put a MILF on the screen, so... Hmm. Yep. Mom, I... Yep. I, I can hear it. It's a bit late for grocery shopping. Using the armrest as leverage, Mishka pushed himself towards the phone and practically grinned into the receiver. Hey, Ma. Well, I had to get... Mimi, is that you? Hello, dear. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> what are you up to shopping at the tower? Mishka draped himself lazily over Sasha in an effort to get closer to the phone. I forgot to go out this morning, and these coupons expire tonight, so I gotta use them now. Oh, Mimi, your C card. Did you get that updated yet? Yeah, Ma, I got it. Should be taken care of. Okay, good. Just make sure since that deadline's coming up. Oh, thank you. Okay, dears. I can't shop and talk at the same time. I'll drop my phone and you know these things are expensive. Do you know how much I paid to repair this thing the last time? Yeah. Okay. Bye, mom. Bye. <laughs> okay, okay. Love you. Oh. <laughs> the phone went quiet. She likes me more. Mishka was still draped over Sasha like a tired koala, clearly not intending to move. Yeah, because you can reach the top cabinet for her. Oh, he really is a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> He's so bottom, he can't reach the top cabinet. <laughs> That's probably true. He laughed softly, a gentle smile spreading across his face. You're incredibly lucky, you know that? We're getting calls from the grocery store? Sasha's gaze stayed on his phone as he began to aimlessly scroll through his messages, despite no one having te texted him. No, I'm serious. She was an amazing mom. You're really lucky to have that. Mishka's gaze settled on his friend as he rolled himself off Sasha and back onto his reclined state against the couch cushions. Sure, yeah. Sasha continued to look at his phone as he spoke. So did you come over for a reason, or...? That's... Well... Well, yeah. Hang out with you, dummy. Reaching for it, Mishka began to take his shoes off, unstrapping the Velcro around his ankles. Velcro?! He's wearing Skechers! <laughs> He's wearing Skechers?! <laughs> He's wearing light-up Skechers! <laughs> okay, hold on. I need to turn on my AC. I feel like we've made very little progress in this so far. <laughs> so many tangents keep occurring in between. <laughs> We just keep talking about random shit. But yeah, but yeah Velcro around his ankles. Yeah, wearing <laughs> wearing those light up sketchers. You know the ones. <laughs> well, I have to drop across town tomorrow, so whatever we do, I can't be up all night. Ah, he can't fuck. Sad. <laughs> so what are we doing then? Watch TV with Mishka, play video games with Mishka, just go to bed. You know what? I feel like... I feel like Sasha's kind of a gamer, you know? Boom. Okay, so let's play video games. Yeah. Let's see. What, what do video games look like in this world? Oh, I know. You'll never guess what I found while I was cleaning yesterday. Can't believe I forgot it was in my closet. Cleaning? The, 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 this apartment does not look clean by his standards. 
by his standards. Mishka hoved in amusement as he watched his friend roll off the couch and crawl toward an old box that sat on the floor near the television. <laughs> you? Cleaning? Doubt. You remember this thing? Everyone had one. Sasha moved out of the way to show Mishka his old video game console. There was a smooth layer of dust coating the system, save for a few finger smudges. Are you serious? Mishka's brows lifted in amazement. It was hard to believe that Sasha still had that dusty old console. Will it even turn on? Sure. Sasha took a deep breath and blew the dust off the old plastic, coughing when he accidentally inhaled some. <laughs> I guess I just need a little. Oh god. <laughs> I guess I just needed a little blowjob. I like his face there. <laughs> what? This, no, this can't be the dialogue already. No. It's that kind of game, crew. It's that oh, kind of great God. game. There's not even any. There's not even any nuance to it. It just goes straight in. All right. Me too, honestly. Making it obvious this guy has a crush already. It's just, but it's like. Oh my god, that's enough. <laughs> Sasha tried to laugh again. All he could was cho do was choke. <laughs> All he could do was choke. <laughs> Mishka's lips stretched into a smirk while Sasha suffered on the floor. But he was soon distracted and responded something a bit more interesting. Wait, is that what I think it is? <laughs> I'm back. Did they fuck? Welcome back, Groms. Not yet. Uh, They've no, only just did no, a blowjob. Yeah, you missed the blowjob. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Mishka sat up straight and nodded toward a small case near the console. What? Lasha's voice sounded suspiciously clear of dust now that he was done milking it. <laughs> Don't laugh at milking. Come on. You child. <laughs> Oh, yes. Sasha lifted a slightly less dusty case, holding it up to the light like a trophy. Is that Dragon Lad? That's such a video game name. Such it's, a video name. <laughs> it's fucking Dragon Lad. Rishka hunched forward to get a closer look. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I forgot about that game. How long has it been? Close enough. Did he at least swallow? Oh yeah, he swallowed. <laughs> he choked. He ch he swallowed so much he choked. Sasha shrugged and flipped the box over, squinting at the back cover. The poor graphic design made the text a bit hard to read. It was back when I lived at my mom's place. That had to be at least eight years ago. Probably even longer than that. Oh my god, do you remember the peanut kid? <laughs> peanut kid? Oh my god, yes. Sasha snickered at the long forgotten memory. <laughs> he would come over all the time after school with us. What was his name? I don't remember. Wasn't it like Stan, Steven, something like that? I don't remember either. I just remember all the peanut shells. <clears throat> oh my god, the peanuts. He was obsessed with peanuts. I remember his mom packed them a little baggy all the time, but they still had the shells on them. Who eats shelled peanuts? <clears throat> Mishka shook his some head. <laughs> wait, wait. Because <laughs> some of us aren't privileged enough to have our, our moms crack open our peanuts for us. Right, right. Some of us have to, like, crack our own peanuts. I know. God. Mishka shook his head with a laugh before running a hand through his hair, Keith flashing in a smile. <laughs> I mean, I used to suck the salt off the outside and then throw them back into the bag. Gross, right? I used to do that. You used to do that? I would- okay, no. But, like, I wouldn't throw them back into the bag. I used to, like, to, like, you know, like, get sunflower seeds, right? And they're usually like salty. I would like 
the first like I'd suck on the sunflower seed and then I'd like crack it open and then like you know I, I just eat, eat the, it and I just eat the sunflower seed salt and no I don't suck on it I was a kid I like the salty taste so like I would, yeah that's what I would do <laughs> same with like some like some peanuts as well I don't do the same thing <clears throat> you're a fucking menace the crack when you open a shelled peanut is kind of satisfying though Sasha tilts with his head back with a smile Oh man, but mom would get so pissed when she came home. All those peanut shells on the living room floor. I wonder what he's doing these days. I haven't seen or heard of him since then, really. Probably eating peanuts somewhere. But seriously, he was kind of weird. Am I weird or weird weird? <laughs> your weird is just your own brand. This kid was weird. He wasn't very good at Dragon Lad. Well, let's see if we still are. Are you gonna put it in? Mishka motioned to the game case in Sasha's hand. And that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha pressed his fingers to the case's tightly sealed edge and in until it popped open so hard that the disc flew out. Don't break it before we get to play it. The thing's practically an antique. Sasha chuckled. Okay. I'm trying, okay? He plugged the system in and pressed the power button. After a small delay, the power light blinked on. Nice. We have a pulse. It's a gamer miracle. He'll probably need the cord. There's no way those controllers are still charged. Sasha grinned as he stood up and returned to the couch with the old controller in hand. When do I get to play? When you decide to stop breaking into my apartment. That was like an hour ago. You gotta put the past behind you. It looks like My Little Pony. It's a, it looks like a mix of My Little Pony and Spyro. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, pro it's, it probably is Spyro. Probably. Before Sasha could even humor that comment, the familiar sounds of the old gaming system filled the room. A second later, music blared loudly from the TV speaker, sending him diving for the remote to lower the volume. Why'd you turn it down? Don't want the district to know you're old? Dragon Land isn't that old. The year the system was published popped up on the screen. Okay, it's kind of old. Popping up in a fucking Super Nintendo game in the year 2023. Just yesterday, I was talk. Uh, I was talking about uh, playing Klonoa in fucking Pac-Man, Pac-Man World. I know Pac-Man World. Yeah, Pac-Man World. That game was like stupidly hard for no reason <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember that as well like why was it so hard but then it's like it's pac-man it's yeah but it's like a weird pac-man game yeah so yeah but now we have a a re a, you know the re the, the remake the repack oh yeah i forgot about that i meant to play that at some point but i never got around to like picking it up that or klonoa you all know my, what my experience with klonoa is what <laughs> I, I had, you remember demo discs like way back in the oh, PS2 yeah, 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 era? demo discs, yeah! Yeah, I had a demo disc that had Klonoa 2 on it. Not the first one, but 2. And I had like the first level of Klonoa 2, and that was my only exposure to Klonoa as a kid, was playing that, that, that demo oh, yeah. disc over and over again. <laughs> You know what? And, my and, but like, but like, not knowing what Klonoa was, so I would just be like, I want to play the, <laughs> the 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 little the 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 rabbit game on the thing, right? Because I was a dumb kid. <laughs> yeah, I I had like the full uh the full game. So, but my experience with demo disc is freaking is freaking Spyro the the skateboard levels. Oh yeah, I remember that demo. I, my friend had that demo disc too. Yeah, I had that demo disc, and and I would keep playing it over and over again as well. Did, even though we just, even though we did have like the actual full game of Spyro. 
yeah, but in the demo, you just play the skateboarding. <laughs> yeah, you just play the skateboarding with it. But I mean, I mean, eventually, years later, they released like you know the the re just the whole remaster and remake, and I played that as well. Yeah, good good games. Good games. You know, I might actually play also also eventually play like the the, the SpongeBob games. <laughs> and those were some that I never played. Oh, I played them. They were awesome. <clears throat> the feeling of his mom's rug, his processed neck at the ready, and the sheer excitement to be home from school and free to waste away the evening. Without missing a beat, both of them started to sing along with the catchy theme song. Mishka burst out laughing. <laughs> Are you seeing these graphics? The graphics weren't bad for their time, but the game looked like looked like a potato compared to the virtual reality games on the market nowadays. I love it. We have to start a new game. There's no other way. As the opening scene played, the two of them coded along almost perfectly. Nerds. <laughs> Man, I remember us restarting the game constantly just to watch the scene again. Looking it up online wasn't the same. I had to watch it in the game. These fucking nerds. Oh shit, it's starting. The combat tutorial was in full swing, and Sasha had barely managed to dodge an enemy, enemy attack. You have to hit both buttons. Mishka leaned over, pointed to the corner of the screen where helpful tips kept popping up. Oh my, he's backseating. He's I know. backseating. <laughs> he's Twitch chat. Sasha fumbled with the controls and managed to pull off the attack, but was soon struggling once again. Come on, I don't even... I haven't even got to the actual level yet. When games used to force you to go through the tutorial stage. <laughs> I don't I don't miss that, if I'm being honest. <laughs> That's because you're rushing and not reading. L literally telling you what to do. Mishka laughed in amazement at how bad his friend was at this, and they'd only just started. <laughs> Stop backseat gaming. This is harder than it looks. Old games are so hard. Sasha wasn't upset though. It was too funny. <laughs> now imagine how much harder it would be if you were high. I mean... That's not an impossible theory to test. Oh god, they're gonna get high. And then they're gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck and while they're high. The only thing missing is that is them being drunk. <laughs> That'd be too much. They just pass out. <laughs> Sasha shot Mishka with a knowing side eye. But if you do use the Red Bull, because the blue one's cracked. It's cracked or is it crack? <laughs> no, I think it's crack. <laughs> if they're smoking something, then it, yeah. Anyways. I was just joking, but you were on board so fast. Because he's a drug dealer. He's a drug dealer. Mishka snorted as he stood up from the small sofa and headed to the kitchen where he knew Sasha kept his stash. He's, he's going for it anyway. <laughs> you can have my future weed. <laughs> Wasn't this jar full the last time I was here? How'd you smoke that much? Oh, it really is future weed. <laughs> Glove hands uncapped the jar and began loading up the Red Bull sitting on the counter. I have anxiety. No thanks to you. Green eyes were fixed intently on the screen. God damn it, this jump is hard. Mishka shuffled back to where his friend sat rigidly on the couch, clearly struggling. Here. Sasha glanced at Mishka's offered hand saw that the glass bowl was loaded. Light it for me. Just pause the game, you can't multitask. Watch me. Mishka sighed, shaking his head slightly before lifting the bowl to Sasha's face and lighting its contents with his free hand. Is, is this how they drug deal? Or did they just not want to do like the actual process of... <laughs> no, I think this is just this is just a, a friend too lazy to, to, to do the drug himself, so he asked his friend to... <laughs> God, Sasha is just sounding more and more like a spoiled brat. 
I mean, I think his friend is also like spoiling it as well because like yeah. he has a crush. Because <laughs> gay. Because gay. How's the view? Mishka smirked at him as Sasha took a hit, both in and out of the game. It only took all of 10 seconds for the intense scent to fill the small studio apartment. After holding it in for as long as he could, Sasha finally exhaled. The view sucked. You were blocking half of my face. Maybe you should just admit you suck at this game. Mishka laughed before bringing Sasha's bowl to his own lips. He plopped back down onto the couch. An indirect kiss. Indirect kiss. <laughs> I almost <laughs> I almost want to let you try so you can see how hard it is and I can laugh at you instead no no man weed makes me focused I'll school you with a deep inhale well, they just straight up said it is weed <laughs> it's I just, knew it it's just weed <laughs> future weed it's future weed future weed it's cyber weed <laughs> Go on. You know, we turned off explicit scenes off, but then we're just talking about weed and crack on stream. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's, it's fine. Just care. Yeah. No, don't do drugs, kids. Uh, <laughs> d uh, d uh, <laughs> don't do drugs. Yeah, warning. Don't do drugs. We do not endorse drugs here. We're just playing a game about drugs. With a deep inhale, Mishka passed the bowl back to his friend. His eyes squinted a little through the smoke that seeped from his mouth. Sasha traded with Mishka, offer offering him the controller. It seemed much smaller in his hands than Sasha remembered. Without missing a beat, Mishka took the controller and began pressing as many buttons as he could. A few seconds later, a brief You Died message flashed across the screen. <laughs> that doesn't count. You were mid-job when you handed it to me. I'm not feeling very schooled right now. What are these fucking cringy ass bros? <laughs> Sasha took another hit after shooting down Mishka's excuse. Alright, alright. Started back at the checkpoint, so now it's fair. Watch. But as hard as he tried to focus on the screen in front of him, Mishka still struggled to jump over a large cliff. He frowned in irritation. <sighs> How the fuck? How the fuck do you glide again? Yeah, it is Spyro. Huh? Sasha was just shaking silently at this point. His face turned away from his friend as he tried to hold it in. Tell me. Despite his tone, Mishka grinned and couldn't contain the laughter that bubbled out of him. Why is this so hard? It's a game for children. <laughs> Has every adult replaying <laughs> old video games? <laughs> Sounds like you need You need baby hands <laughs> Baby hands? What does that even mean? Yeah, these buttons are made for baby thumbs Sasha could barely finish his sentence without wheezing Okay, so what if I did this? Mishka set the controller onto his knee and promptly switched to using just his index fingers on the button pad. The controller shifted on his leg, threatening to fall at any second. If you break it, you have to buy me a new one. The new one? I'd probably have to go on a national treasure hunt to find one. Yeah, I wonder how much they're worth now. Probably nothing. These games are already ported and they break this console. Seemingly getting the hang of things, Mishka began progressing quickly through the level, collecting items and blowing fire at enemies. Hey, hey got me snacks? I'm starving. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to go check while playing Dragon Lad, master level multitasking. Sasha chuckled, feeling lightheaded from the smoke. His earlier stress had almost completely drifted away. You're the master multitasker, not me. Give me a snack. Didn't you say I was horrible at multitasking? Retour to sight, Sasha still eased painstakingly off the sofa. Gravity. Strong. I might not make it to the kitchen. Oh god, these fucking dude bros. Oh yeah, I heard they turned up the gravity too. Ah oh, crap. 
Mishka's focus turned entirely to the screen in front of him. He leaned forward off the edge of the couch and squinted at the enemies he was rushing to defeat. Oh my god, why are there so many of them? Why do I feel like that's something I've said before? Because it is. <laughs> I probably have. <laughs> I don't remember what stream, but I probably have. Probably Hollow Cure. Uh, yeah, it probably was Hollow Cure. <laughs> Is that the sound of you being really bad at this game? Sasha, now in the kitchen, attempted to open the fridge. He laughed at himself as he kept fa failing to grab the hand. Oh god, he's so high. I've, I've, been, I've been there before. Not high, but drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you. There's, there's something where just something just like in your reach, but for some reason you just can't, you just can't grab it. And you're just like, whoa, well, what's going on? Fridge said no snacks. Sorry. Well, tell the fridge I said yes snacks and hurry back. They're going to kill me. Mishka laughed as even more enemies swarmed in and began overwhelming his small dragon avatar. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Throw snacks at them? Just throw snacks at the screen? <laughs> you know, speaking of Spyro, though, there was that one, one level where you fight two flying dragons. I hate that shit so much. <laughs> Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that one. I tried to... I really tried to fight them for hours, non-stop. I even, like, at one point stopped playing, went to sleep, and when I w woke up, I would continue playing again because I really wanted to, to defeat them. I never did. <laughs> like, I would get close! I would, like, have them, like, just one little tail left. That was, that was all I needed. But... They, they, <laughs> You're already asking someone who's already bad at aiming to like fight a fight like two dragons that that just fly around. You ever think about how like in a lot of these old games they really expected kids to figure these things out, and then I'm like, you had too much faith in children <laughs> for the time. <laughs> yeah, but then once you become adults and you try to play, then it's like you still can't do it. That's the, that's the shittiest part is that you're an adult, but you still can't do it. You have like all you the see, at that point, you you blame your bad reflexes at that point. Age has slowed you down. <laughs> I think that's just you. So that's all fighting game players past thirty. <laughs> yes, let's throw a handful of peanuts at him. Mishka snickered to himself at the thought. No, seriously, come help me. Become the dragon lad yourself. He laughed again and quickly double jumped, gliding above the enemies he didn't want to fight yet. Sasha rolled his eyes and shook his head, amused. He finally managed to open the fridge door and began to search its contents with lit eyes, hoping to find something appetizing. No dice. Oh god, he's really so high. Dude, look at his face. He's got like the high face. Well, chips it is then. He shut the door and grabbed a half-empty bag of flavored tortilla chips off the right. counter. Yo, I got some of those. <laughs> you have tortilla to chips? <laughs> yeah. Spicy. Did you just ask if I was back yet? I'm like within two meters at all times. This room isn't even that big. Sasha made his way back to the sofa, making sure to plop down hard enough to mess Mishka up. Wh hey, hey! Irritated by his friend's attempt at sabotage, Mishka swiped the bag of chips out of Sasha's hand and placed it with the controller. Your problem now. Why don't I a lot? Do you really have chips with you? Yeah, I don't have chips. <laughs> I thought you meant like That's in the like in the in the cupboard or fridge or something. No, I've been like silently munching on them this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> silently munching. <laughs> yeah, it, it adds to the effect, you know. No. The moment Sasha had the controller, his little avatar was surrounded by enemies. I can't kill them with these shitty moves. Where are all the upgrades? Mishka chuckled quietly, his body slumped loosely against the armrest. Drowsiness had started to set in, and he could feel his eyelids growing heavy. Well, you can always use cheat codes. He stretched out and wiggled his legs underneath Sasha, trying to get more comfortable on the small couch. Cheating is for cheaters. As he spoke, Sasha pulled out his phone to search for Dragon Lad cheat codes. Oh my god. <laughs> Gives up so fast. 
Because they're all so long. There's no way I'm going to remember one long enough to unlock it. Up left. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Up left, down right, circle, circle, something about a cootie <laughs> shot. His stone was gradually getting lower. Oh, whatever. Oh, God. The weed is really kicking in. <laughs> a small chuckle came from the armrest. Yes, Les. Sasha checked the time on his phone. Is it seriously that late? He locked the device before staring blankly at the retry screen on the TV. Maybe we can just figure it out tomorrow. My brain is too smooth for this right now. <laughs> I like your smooth brain. Do you like smooth brain or, or crusty brain? Ew, what's a crusty brain? <laughs> I thought you'd have a crusty brain. Oh. Yeah, well, you got a stinky <laughs> brain. You got a stinky brain. <laughs> Stop. We're not doing these child level insults <laughs> on stream. <laughs> Good. Because that's all you're getting. Are we getting, gonna get them to cuddle? Is that what we're gonna do? I think get? they're too high for that. Fuck. I thought they'd be too high that they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't realize that they were cuddling. <laughs> Sasha tiredly reached for a chip and gave it a weak nibble. Fair enough. Very slowly, Mishka rolled to the edge of the couch and onto the floor. <laughs> From there, he began crawling tediously towards Sasha's bed. I really hope that's why he looked like sneaking down the hallway to pick the lock on my door. Sasha stretched his leg out as far as he could toward the machine, hoping he could hit the power button with his toe. No, I can't reach the power button. Come back. Get longer legs. Mishka pulled himself onto the bed and disappeared under the loose cover, shimmying up against the wall. Okay, give me a minute. I'll reach it any second now. He was staring so hard that the words were barely coherent. Slowly, he slid off the couch and onto the hard nice. floor. <laughs> Made it. Not caring about their C file, he held the power button down with his toe until the screen went blank. They, they didn't <laughs> save. <laughs> Jesus. Finally, Sasha found the will to stand. He looked at the chips but decided to leave them on the couch. I'll probably need them again anyway. No point in going through the hassle of putting them away and pulling them back out again. <laughs> Sasha yawned, grateful that his bed was only a few steps away from the sofa. After a small detour for the light switch, he stumbled his way into the bed by the, the light that shone through his balcony slider. The sudden weight of another body sinking to the master, mattress jostled Mishka and he turned around, shuffling until he was facing hey. Sasha. Oh! Oh god. Come here. They're gonna cuddle. His voice was hushed. Uh... Sasha scooted closer to his friend beneath the blankets. Yeah, oh no, is he gonna? Is he gonna be the little spoon? <laughs> He's gonna be the little spoon. <laughs> they're not even dating, and they're just two. They, these are just two bros cuddling. This is just what dudes do. Oh man, sorry. You, you, this is just what this is what men relationships are like. Sometimes you just cuddle with your bro. You just cuddle with your bros. Have you cuddled with your bros before? I'm not gonna answer that. So oh, that's a yes. Okay, you want to hear a funny story? So yes, the gay gender is real. 2019 and anime anime expo 2019. We had to afford hotel rooms, right? So that means only having two beds. Okay, so. We, it was me, my friend, and two of our other friends. Our two other friends are a couple. So of course they get their own bed. So me and my friend, we've known each other since middle school. We were like, you know what? I'll share a bed, it's fine. The beds were pretty large anyways, right? So yeah, I didn't cut, we didn't cuddle, but we did share a bed. It was, uh, it was an interesting experience. <laughs> Ram said, I have, I do this thing with my thumb too. <laughs> what, what's the thing with your thumb? <laughs> what's the thing with what does the that thumb? mean? Grums? That sounds it what does that mean? Explain yourself, Groms, right now. I don't know about any thumb thing. Thumb thing. <laughs> you rub it gently on them, like on their hand. Okay, I... no, I've never. What? 
You never no, do I don't that. do that to my friend. That's weird, <laughs> Grom. I don't cuddle my friends. Or their shoulder up. Groms? It's... It's cuddling them. Nah, <laughs> you know what? I don't think I'm that close to my to my uh, <laughs> my bro. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm not that close to my to my homies either. Do <laughs> why am I being questioned? Because we you brought it up. <laughs> you brought. You can't just bring up the 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 thumb thing and not elaborate. Right? Like we would question you. I send my boys toe pics for free every day. Groms, why are you sending the, your your homies grippers? Jesus, you live in a whole different world. <laughs> Sasha scooted closer to his friend beneath the blankets. How can you stand wearing jeans to bed? Seriously. Are you telling me to take them off? Because the gri grippers are rated E for every minute. <laughs> I wear jeans to bed. You're just unhinged. You're just an unhinged person, Groms. That's what we've decided here. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel uncomfortable wearing jeans to bed. Even if it's like the stretchy ones that are more like leggings. Even if I'm fucking piss drunk. Even if I'm piss drunk, like ready to pass out, I will take off my pants. Honestly, honestly, say, even at my most tired, if I come home and I don't feel like changing clothes, I just, I'll just take off my jeans and that's it. Because it's so yeah. uncomfortable to sleep in jeans, okay? Full, full, you know, I'll go full, full fucking underpants. I don't care. You're safe. My room. <laughs> it's my room. Who cares? <laughs> if people walk in, that's their problem. I was like, for, I wear jeans to bed. I'm just Canadian. What the fuck? It's ah, so I see the harsh, the harsh Canadian <laughs> winters do be creeping up. You know, <laughs> that you, you need be jeans. Warm at all times. <laughs> hey, uh, go to sleep in a full uh, winter park, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I can't. I'll, I can't. At my most tired, I'll take off my jeans and just go full underpants as well, because. And no, that's just not comfortable. <laughs> oh God! Now I have the now now, now I have the surgery. Grounds being, yeah, uh, me and the fellas, we just uh, get up in a big bed all together, and we just uh, start, you know, holding each other at night. Uh, the winters are long, and so we gotta keep warm, you know. You know, I I rub the, I rub their hands too, you know, and uh and you know we cuddle in our jeans. <laughs> <laughs> we cuddle a boot over there. <laughs> in, in, you know, <laughs> in the in the igloo, you know. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> Jesus, I love doing I love doing Canadian accents. They're my favorite. <laughs> Suddenly, all, all I could just think about is freaking South Park. <laughs> you you need to I need to show you clips. Um, I I need to show you clips from a show called Letter Kenny, which is like the most Canadian fucking thing ever. It's so fucking funny. We use Timbits Tim in a bro sexual, sexual way. way. What does that mean? What does that, what does that mean, mean? Grobs? Well, I feel like we're going to just be asking more questions <laughs> if we keep going down this route. I know. Grob is honestly like an enigma at this point. No further explanation. All right. Well, okay. That. <laughs> I'm telling you that you're weird. More weird with pants than without. Got it. After a couple of seconds and a few sounds of rustling beneath the covers, Mishka threw his pants across the small room. Tada! Praise me. That was ridiculous, but also very impressive. Oh, hi, Mira Luna. Hi. Is this BL? Yes, this is BL. This is BL. Yeah. The, you just get, you, you came at a good time. The bros are cuddling. Yeah, one took off his pants, so we're getting there. Also, thank you for the hydration, Groms. I hydrated. I hydrated with Strawberry Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's me to a T. God, they're really cuddling. They're just bros. Oh my god. <laughs> He has his pants off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mishka slid an arm across Sasha's middle plume clothes, feeling warm and content. Mishka's arm was a warm band across his stomach, and Sasha shifted slightly under the weight, getting comfortable. 
Oh my god. But for real, that clothing is a hassle, and I'll die on that hill. I just boycott it. No skinny jeans in my apartment. My jeans aren't skinny. Are they still banned? Mm -hmm. When Sasha closed his eyes, he felt the room start to spin, and while that would normally make him panic, right now it was just relaxing. His body felt almost weightless, held down only by his friend's arm. It felt safe. Noticing the lack of sarcastic commentary, Rishka lifted his head from the pillow and looked over at his friend. When he realized Sasha had fallen asleep, his gaze softened. How he's able to fall asleep so fast baffles me. <laughs> Grom's is going full unhinged now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'd be biting <laughs> my boy's shoulders and gnawing on it too in my sleep. You feel me? Get the blood flowing so they don't stay cold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crom's your lord. <laughs> uh, Leaning in, Mishka rested his head above Sasha's on the pillow. He curled his body closer, entangling the two of them into a comfortably familiar pose. Only a few minutes later, sleep claimed Mishka too. Ah, uh, do we not get a do we not get a CG for that? <laughs> not in this version of the game. <laughs> Sorry, Yai awakened something inside of me, then something snapped. <laughs> oh my god, he's quoting the fucking Vegeta meme. Then something snapped, something inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> something changed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care anymore. <laughs> fucking quoting now. <laughs> you haven't seen that Vegeta meme? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know any Dragon Ball memes. Okay, I don't want Dragon no, no, Ball. No, 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 no. It was it was a TikTok thing, and it was a TikTok thing that was going around where people would use it to like respond to something they thought was hot or something that they turned them on. It's like, <laughs> and that's when it snapped. Something inside of me. I didn't care if they were better, Kakarot. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think I've seen that one. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. The soft crackle of wood burning into ash and ember filled the otherwise silent space of the dark lounge. Oh, God, it's the edgy boy. The slender man approached his superior, who was seated in a sleek armchair with an almost bored expression as he looked down at his phone. Sir. Upon hearing the voice, the man lifted his dark-eyed gaze from his phone and stared at the agent standing for him. The dealer we sent out to retrieve the package never made it back. A thin smile spread across the man's lips. Of course. I knew Strux's little rat would get in the way. Because of the tightened security around the shop, only verified dealers have been able to get through. Fine. We'll use our mole, then. Have him get the sample and send it to the warehouse. Do it before Pavel catches wind. I understand. I'll be sure to stress the urgency to the others, then. No. I have something more important for you to do, Ada. The way fuse blew up or something, be right back. Okay, Mariluna. Oh, no. Oh, no. As the man spoke, he lifted a thin tablet from the side table nearby. The screen illuminated his face and filled one's dark eyes with a pale blue light. Ida's gaze, previously fixated near the other man's feet, lifted to regard his superior. A jolt of heat ran through him when their eyes met for a split second. I want you to keep an eye on Dima's pet. We can risk losing time if he wanders too close. And if he does? Oh no, hi Onion, welcome. Welcome. We're doing the BL games. Yeah. Ida's voice was quieter now. He took a few daring steps closer, now within arm reach of his superior. The man gently took Ada's hand in his and met no resistance. Ada's fingers were relaxed and compliant. Without warning, the man forcefully oh, pulled Ada God. into his lap. Oh. Oh. I'm getting a little too close with these voices. 
<laughs> I think they really do sound. I think besides like freaking Mishka, everyone does sound what they sh what they should sound like. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Now here's the BL. His voice was so close. His warm breath brushed against softly against Ida's neck. Anything for you. Oh, we're getting real BL now. The long, eerie hallway that housed Sasha's front door did well to hide just what time of day it was. Oh, I accidentally clicked on the phone. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that <laughs> supposed to happen? <laughs> Though it looked the same as the previous night, it was now late afternoon when the f two finally emerged from the small studio apartment. They'd managed to sleep most of the day away, no thanks to the lack of natural daylight in the apartment. Sasha shut and locked his front door behind him, glaring at Mishka as he jiggled the handle to double-check the security. Mishka couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Listen, at least I didn't break the lock. It's fine. Don't give me that look. Sasha rolled his eyes before pocketing his keys. After taking a few steps toward the stairs, Sasha's stomach rumbled loudly. Dude, I'm starving. Mishka quickly followed after his friend. Well... Well, what'd we get for waking up this late? Ugh. Maybe there's a hot dog place along the way. Hot dog, huh? Hot dog? Hmm. <laughs> you know? Funny how you just invite yourself to my drop. <clears throat> Honestly, hot dog does sound kind of good. But I think at this point, any food <laughs> sounds kind of good to me. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Hey, it's my day off. Got nothing better to do. See you ever? Mishka gra gasped dramatically and pretended to clutch his pearls as they went down the stairwell and out into the street. <clears throat> Come on. <gasps> I still think we should stop for hot dogs. No complaints here. The sounds of buses stopping loudly by the curb, distant car horns, the wind tearing between tall buildings, they all washed over him. Sure, it was loud, but every sound reminded Sasha that he was never truly alone out here. It was all so familiar. So, where's this drop anyways? Sasha pulled his phone from his jacket pocket, quickly scrolling through his messages. He wants to meet over at Jukebox, which is at least an hour with public transit. Sasha typed a quick on my way to Terran before pocketing his phone. Jukebox? That's a truck of tower, yeah? A hint of unease had crept into Mishka's tone. Yeah, I'm almost never over that way. Feels too expensive. Walked around there once, you know. Look at the shops. I found some really nice shoes. Thought I'd have to take out a mortgage on those things. Put them down so fast. <laughs> Feels like they'll charge you for breathing the air, huh? Guess I'll hold my breath. <laughs> Don't die. Right, to the tower. I hope you don't plan on us walking. Yeah, it's a bit much for me. Moving from the couch to your kitchen is a bit much for you. Okay, smartass. Walking is out of the question. Let's... Take the bus to strike the tower. Take the train to strike the tower. What do you think, Kotome? Hmm... I mean, which is usually the less expensive option? Hmm... <laughs> ah! I feel like they'd be around the same, like bus and train, public transport, you know? I feel like train is more direct, whereas bus will have too many stops on the way, you know? I guess we'll take the train since it might be a at least a tiny bit faster. Do you want to take the yeah. train? Okay. Yeah. Let's just take the train. It's faster and cleaner than the bus line. I don't... Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally... Go to history. Go to history. Go to history. <laughs> I don't like the subway. You know that. Too bad. It's fast and the bus is smelly. You can deal with it, right? I think we're 
out of me. Sasha grinned his friend in an attempt to persuade him. Hans jumped in his pocket as he st started down the side street. How would we know he didn't like trains? Come on! Yeah. Who doesn't like trains? Come on, I'll make it up to you. I'll buy us some tacos. Wow, you'll get us some tacos, huh? Pay for them and everything? An incredulous look was I mean, shared between them for a moment before they both started laughing. I mean, tacos. I mean, he's making he's making a drop right now, so he's obviously gonna make some money. Yeah. Hey, I won't stop you if you really want to spoil me. Sasha chuckled, shaking his head. We should have picked the bus. <laughs> no, now he gets tacos. Tacos. Spoil you? I just want you to take the subway, my dude. Is it working? Are you convinced? Sasha gave the most pathetic attempt at a puppy dog look he couldn't manage. Oh god, he's, he's this fucking bottom. What a twink. What a twink. <laughs> Mishka smiled wryly in response and put a hand on his friend's shoulder, playfully shoving him away. Okay, okay, if you stop doing that, whatever that is, then I'll go, damn. Cool. Stoke. I thought it said stroke street. I, <laughs> I thought like, hmm? stroke as well. The what? Cool. The Stoke Street entrance is right there, so it all works out. Yeah, yeah. The two of them descended underground, their footsteps echoing down the concrete stairway. The hum of the city was soon replaced with the roar of the subway trains rushing by. A man lay quietly against the nearest wall, loitering next to a bright, no littering sign. When he noticed Sasha and Mishka approaching, he pushed off the wall and headed over to them both. Oh, Sasha. This guy sounds like a sleaze. We'll see. Where does it go? Why, did it, why is there suddenly Genshin on the screen? Huh? On the wall there. Where does it say Genshin? Not Genshin, oh, Paimon. 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 <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you know Paimon's actually the name of a demon, right? No, I didn't know that. There's a there's a uh, old book called the Ars Gosia, which is a book about demonology. Uh, it's a real book, and one of the demons in there is named Paimon, as well as that's sort of the, the gimmick with the the archons or the gods in Genshin. They're all named after demons. Mm. So you have Morax, uh, Beelzebub. Um, Baal, uh, Barbados, which is Venti's real name, <clears throat> and Paimon. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I'm back. Did we get to the drugs part already? Yeah, we're getting to the drugs part. <laughs> the closer the stranger got, the more tense Mishka began to feel. His hand moved toward his pocket, fingers twitching instinctively. Hey. Do you know this guy, Sasha? Yeah, he's a regular of mine. Sasha's expression shifted to something a bit more welcoming as he greeted the familiar client, but Mishka's tension didn't subside. He kept a watchful eye out, the back of his neck prickling with unease. Hey, you're usually up by Flora. What are you doing out this way? Sasha's body stiffened as the man stepped closer. The man started to scratch the back of his neck. I, uh, actually I came out this way for something, but, uh... You know, can't get back now. <laughs> can't get back? Sasha noted the glassiness of the buyer's eyes, though it was difficult to see since he wouldn't stop moving. Here we go. It's my C-card. It, uh... He stopped to look behind him despite no one being there. It expired, and I don't have enough to renew it right now. Yikes. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. The man simply laughed again and shook his head. Oh, no, it's fine. But because of all that, I'm, you know, a little short on cash. I was wondering if, you know... The man continued to stumble over his words, but it wasn't hard to see where this was going. You know, I can't front you. It's just for half a gram. I'll have the money next week. I'll pay it back. Sasha did his best to cut him off. I can't do IOUs, man. I got bosses to feed. Come on. Sasha, let's go. 
It's a good thing you have your boyfriend with you, Sasha. For real. Just this one time, man. Just this one time. It's taking all my income just to get this card. I need to have a gram of the new stuff he got last week. The man became more agitated and ran a shaky hand through his hair. I'm sorry, but I can't. Sasha shrugged as he repeated his refusal. Sasha, please, man. This withdrawal is ferocious. You gotta understand. The man attempted a smile, but it flickered and died, a frown swiftly taking its place. He was clearly growing more agitated by the moment. He glanced over his shoulder a second time. Are you fucking serious? He said no. Back off. Mishka, ease up. His brows furrowed at his friend's sudden intensity. Alright, alright, damn. I don't want any trouble. The man backed up a bit, shaking his head at disappointment before mumbling something incoherent. Before another word was said, an automatic voice over the loudspeaker chimed in. Their train was arriving. Not wanting to escalate the situation further, Sasha bowed out and headed in the opposite direction. Mishka reached into his pocket and pulled out a business card. He held out the piece of paper to the regular with a scowl, letting go once the other man grabbed it. Here, call this number. They'll help you get your card and stop bothering people. Thanks. What a charmer. Mishka didn't hear this comment, having already turned to follow Sasha toward the turnstiles that separated them from the rest of the subway. Sasha pulled his C-card from the pocket as they approached the turnstile. A green light appeared with a quick chime to signal Sasha's seamless entry. Then Mishka offered up his card, however, the machine locked rigid. A small error code popped up on the screen. Mishka tried again. Hey, Roar. Is someone out of funds? No, I literally just loaded this thing. I wonder that other guy got barred. Mishka scanned his C-card again with no success. He scoffed at the persistent error notice. Whatever. This thing's biased. Not wanting to waste time buying a one-way ticket from the kiosk, Mishka simply vaulted over the barrier. Absolute anarchy. <clears throat> it's faster than the bus line, my ass. It is when your card works. That's why you don't want to take the train. <laughs> My card does work. It's just this stupid fucking... Ugh, never mind. A platform. Mishka's scowl remained as they started down. Another flight of stairs towards the many platforms. A large digital map overhead displayed endless options of color-coded routes. So... We're headed north, so... Orange line. His response was quick and common as steered Mishka toward their platform. <laughs> their train was already docked when they approached, but Sasha showed no urgency as he walked toward the open sliding doors. You're still eating chips. <laughs> Sorry. Mishka, on the other hand, kept glancing over his shoulder as they went along, and even more so once they boarded. He guided them both as far from the other occupants as he could, motioning to a spot in the corner for Sasha to sit. I hate this fucking train. One leg crossed the other while he leaned back, his arms wrapped around his middle. Hey, at least it's not too packed this late in the afternoon. Didn't feel like standing during a ride this long. Because no one likes a subway. Or there's suckers who don't get off work for another two hours. Mishka grew quiet and turned his attention toward the window, staring through the glass with his jaw clenched. Sasha pulled his phone out of his pocket and shifted around to get comfortable. Since no one else was near, he was able to swing his legs up onto the empty seats. Ah, uh, damn it, we forgot the tacos. The difference between this district and the one they had just left felt like night and day. The trees planted evenly along the road were well manicured. No trash could be found on the crackless sidewalks, and water features adorned walkways and expensive-looking skyscraper lobbies. Is it just me, or is the air different here? You're breathing expensive air now. Mm. <laughs> because he hates it with a passion. 
I think maybe I just have a different experience with trains. Careful, they'll charge us for talking too much. Grinning slightly, Mishka shoved his hands deep into his pockets and trailed after his friend. I'm always amazed to see how many people find time to shop in the middle of a workday. Not that I work a normal schedule. Strexa Tower was tall enough to spot almost anywhere in the city, so it felt a little intimidating standing under it now. The first floor was filled with various types of open-air shops that anyone could pass through, and there were a hell of a lot of them. Hey. Sasha! Sasha! Look at this! Without much of a warning, Mishka veered up and crashed down beside a small metal box outside an expensive-looking boutique. I think it's an umbrella wrapping thing. Oh, I know those things. What is it? Um, I think they're, you mostly see them in, like, Korea and Japan, but, like, they're these, um... When you go to some stores, they're, like, a little thing you put your wet umbrella in to keep it from, like, being wet while you're in the store. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that thing. Oh, yeah, we had yeah. that thing. You lean over the box and look down into the narrow hole at the top. I dare you to put your hand in there. And what? Steal an <laughs> umbrella bag? Still, he curiously walked over and looked down into it. Wish I had an umbrella on me so I could bag it. <laughs> Maybe it's part of their marketing ploy. Get you to buy an umbrella just to try this thing. Rich people would absolutely buy an umbrella when it's 28 degrees Celsius and clear skies outside. I just walk out when it's like hot outside. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha checked That's his- That's you get a parasol. <laughs> parasol, parasol. Oh yeah, I'm gonna walk around with my parasol and wear a fucking Lolita outfit. You know what, you know what's the funniest thing about the, the, the name parasol, right? That That's how the world knows it as. Like they call it a parasol. You know, it's Spanish. What do they call it Spanish? It <laughs> no, it is Spanish. It's parasol, which means for the sun. Literally, the name of it is for the sun. <laughs> parasol. No, oh, I thought it was like a French word. No, no, no. Para is like for. Like, or like, yeah, that's the way you use it. And sol is sun. Oh, all this time I thought that was French. I mean, French and Spanish come from similar root languages. Latin. <laughs> Makes sense. Why'd this guy want to meet here anyway? Is this really on your road? Sasha just shrugged. Honestly, the further from my apartment, the better. His gaze darted between the hanging signs of the nearby shops in hopes of finding jukebox. Actually, that makes sense. So who are we looking for? Skeezy guy, probably late 20s. Old outdated pair of sneakers. Taryn. Never met him before. So probably a new buyer. Never met him and you weren't going to ask me to come? Wow. I see. They wanted to meet a jukebox. My bank account's at higher risk than my safety. Not far away from them, a man who fit Mishka's earlier description gazed up from his phone, peered around, and then looked back down. A few moments later, the man lifted his head and looked around again. Yeah, so, is that him? Mishka motioned with his head, his hand sliding instinctively into his pockets where his knives were. <sighs> knives? Probably. Yeah, he's an edgy boy, he keeps knives on him, you know? <laughs> so edgy. The two of them approached the stranger. Oh my god, what a fucking dude, bro. <laughs> fucking, this, this, hey, this, uh, this. <laughs> fucking Chad. Hey, are you Taryn? Dude, it's Jake Paul. Jake Paul, oh my god. <laughs> what is that? What is that shirt, though? Holy shit. Hey, you never seen deep tank tops like that? I I've seen them, but like, dang, that that's that's so deep of a 
I know. Only the fuck boys usually wear them. <laughs> I think if that shirt's weighed around, you can see his fucking nips, man. <laughs> That's the point, don't tell me. <laughs> it's like the ma the male boob window, you know? The male boob window. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So from a male boob window, do you want the whole boob or le like the under boob or like side boob? Which is best? Well, you know, it, dep <laughs> it depends. Because no two men have the same boob, all right? Some of them have like more of square boob. Some of them have it rounder. You know, it's, it's, it all depends. The, the the male booba is a more complex thing, you know? <laughs> male booba is more complex. So, so female booba is not complex. It's just booba. <laughs> no, it's not this and that's that's not true either. But I'm just saying with like the male booba, it's like, you know, it's it's wider, you know. You get what I mean? Like it's it covers more of a surface area. Covers more of a surface area, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, put it this way. You look at somebody like The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's, like, chest, right? And you look at that compared to, like, like, like a woman with just big booba, and it's like, a bra would not fit over The Rock. That's that's too <laughs> wide. Too wide of a booba space, you know what I mean? Too wide of a booba space, oh God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You pick it up when I'm putting down? Yes, but, like, damn. It's saying, dude. Some, some guys just have, like, fucking... Some dudes, like, pecs are, like, bigger than their heads. You Which I guess is fair <laughs> for some women with big booba as well. You wanna, you ever wanna actually, like, squish, like, a, a buff man's peck, though? Oh, I have. Oh, you have? How does it feel? Yeah. It's like... It's like, at first it feels, like, squishy, but then you push a little harder, and it's like you're pushing into a stone. <laughs> Yeah. So, that, so there's a so there's a squishy layer, but then there's like the stone, the hard stony la layer <laughs> underneath oh, it. Oh yeah, depends on how much they work out that chest, you know. Hmm. I've always wanted to I wanted to squish a a buckman's pecs. I just want <laughs> mostly because I just want to know what, how it like feels. I I've never mm. I've never done that. You ever seen that? You ever seen those images of like they're like the meme images of like the girl, like the the dudes with like their shirts unbuttoned, and then like the girls like doing like a weird face and like touching their chest. <laughs> I'll send you an image of it later, but it's it's my favorite. Yeah, you probably send it later. <laughs> Or, or like, or like that image of the dude who's like, I think it's like he's like on a video call or something, and like he's just got his like fucking his pecs out, and he's like he can barely see over them, and then the com top comment is just put those away, you slut. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm just like charge my phone because like it it was screaming at me. Grom asks, you ever squeezed ham before? Oh, I think she's gone. Hey, chap. It's me and you. I mean, chips right now. It's like squeezing a ham. I guess it depends on how firm the ham is, you know? You ever squeezed ham before? Ham? Yeah, like a whole ham. You ever had a whole ham? No. Really? You've never had a whole ham? No. I just like what I like. I like chicken. <laughs> I think it's it's such a it's 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 more of like a common like Thanksgiving thing and like <laughs> like Christmas thing to just eat a whole ham, you know? Okay, that that kind of does this kind of does remind me of like uh, uh like there was like in my haunting duties that at the hotel um since i answer a lot of like uh guest questions and stuff one person literally asked me they told me like oh um they wanted they wanted specific food because yeah uh, i want to eat something with protein i'm just like you you want to eat something with protein but it's already late the, 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 <laughs> the kitchen <laughs> parts of the kitchen are closed and you want something with protein this late it's never too late to get your gains otome <laughs> come on yeah they really they really specifically wanted the gains man the protein like when i told everyone they were like oh they wanted protein everyone <laughs> 
Huh? Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, they went like, oh. oh. <laughs> the man turned and squinted at Sasha. With a hearty laugh, he flipped his phone around and shoved it into his pants pocket. <laughs> oh god, what, what kind of voice would this guy have? I mean, he, <laughs> he's a Jake Paul chat looking ass, so. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the, the, the fucking fuck boy voice. I gotta I gotta give him the California voice. California voice, okay. <laughs> His teeth yeah. flash in a smile. Anyway, what's up? Oh, then bring me my order. <laughs> oh wait, are you uh, Sasha or are you? He pointed toward Mishka. Yep, that's him. Probably never buys his own shit. Ugh. I hate this. Shifting into customer service mode, Sasha's tone changed into something more confident. I'm travel sized. Would you rather I be on everybody's radar? Oh. Oh shit, <laughs> Lamau, dude. Hey man, that just means you can squeeze into small spaces, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> With a <the> chortle. <laughs> it's that word that Faye thought I made up. It's a real word, see? Yeah, chortle is a real word. It's a real word. Yeah. Wait, the Faye, the Faye thinks it's not real? He thought it was. It was a fake word when I said it to him. He was like, what did you just say to me? I'm like, chortle. Can, He's like, what is that? And I'm like, it's it's a way to laugh. It's a it's, type of laugh. It, you can Google it. It's a real word. What? Yeah. I can't believe it. I was being gaslit by him. <laughs> he was gaslighting you. <laughs> I know. With a chortle, he dug into his pocket and started pulling out wads of cash, flipping through them only after he licked his thumb first. Gross. Karen paused to look up at Mishka for a moment, then went back to scouting. Some lie. What, 200 for a gram? Didn't you say you wanted to meet a jukebox? It's close enough. Sasha interjected, <laughs> watching the stack of money this man pulled out in broad daylight. Do you not have payo or coin links to your C card? I also think of crypto. No. Oh, crypto, eh. Hmm. The thought of carrying cash around him made him around made him nervous. <laughs> nah, kitty. I like to be traced, so how much is it? That new uh NS shit is expensive, isn't it? Fourteen hundred. 200 if you're paying USD. My latest batch is my last batch for a reason. It's about what Alexi mentioned. I'm game. Said, uh, come with dinner with you two. Ugh. Damn, everyone's, everyone's gay. Everyone's, everyone's gay. gay as fuck. Everyone's super gay. <laughs> well, yeah, let's not go off with the sketchy Chad looking motherfucker. Let's, let's stick with our best friend. <laughs> Why do you want to go on a date with me, bro? <laughs> Sorry, I don't date dude bros. I don't date, I don't date chat broskies. <laughs> Grom's like, I'm not gay. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Oh god, Mishka's getting, <laughs> getting offended. Though he'd meant to mutter the words under his breath, Mishka's voice rose sharply. That'll cost you at least three times as much. Sasha wouldn't consider this guy his type, but he didn't mind his ego being stroked. Oh, so you're fancy fancy, huh? Oh, for you, I'm loaded. All kinds of loaded. Oh, he means his penis. Oh. That didn't even cross my mind. You're the one who thought about that girl. Hey, boy, why did he say all kinds of loaded? What do you think he meant by that? <laughs> that even, that no. seriously didn't even cross my mind. I How else are you meant to interpret that? Look, hey, am I wrong? Am I wrong? 
I think that says more a lot about you, Crow, than it does about me. Hold on. Listen. I'm, hold on, I'm getting too cold. No, no. No, no, no guy would say something like that without me having it mean something about his pee pee. <laughs> you should, you should know how disgusting men are at this point. I got a blanket over me now. Hmm. <laughs> To be, fair, to be fair, I make fun of this guy's like shirt, but I'm also wearing a crop top. <laughs> <laughs> a crop top with no sleeves, so but here's the thing, I'm at home. I can't I can't relax as much as I want, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> VS is like can confirm. Ooh woo woo woo. <laughs> exactly. I don't think you could afford my appetite. Sasha, what the fuck? He's jealous. I mean, to be fair, these two were like cuddling the night before. It was just a bros thing, though. <laughs> Mishka's taking it the wrong way. It was a bros thing. Bros cuddle all the time. Yeah, exactly. Karen grinned at Sasha, still flipping through the bottle of cash. <laughs> all right, so uh, 200 USD for the bag and 800 for you. I talk about dinner, you know. Oh Ugh. god, he just wants a fuck. He wants a fuck, Ugh. dang. His tongue stuck out playfully between his teeth. <laughs> get, you know what, Chad? Get, get away from me, Chad. Just no. <laughs> Dude, anime Jake Paul. He was a messing around. Jaw creaking with how hard he was clenching his teeth, Mishka balled his hands into fists, his nails bit sharply into his palms, and every muscle in his body was rigid. Dang, he. <laughs> Dang. God, he's like getting yandere about it now. Pasha pulled out a small cellophane bag with a violet emblem from inside his jacket. Do you dote on all your weed dealers this way? The drug was held lightly between his fingers so he could off the product and take payment at the same time. <laughs> it's cute ones, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he smirked and slid the wad of cash into Sasha's hand, taking the baggie as well. With his free hand, Taryn grabs Sasha's forearm and pulled him closer. You're pretty cute, bruh. Oh no, Mishka's, Mishka's gonna start a scene. They're he, doing a. You idiot! They're doing a drug deal! Get the fuck back! Mishka stepped forward and pushing his arm between the other two and roughly shoving Terran away from Sasha. Do what the fuck, man? Terran growled, stumbling back a little. Temper igniting like a spark, he put both hands on Mishka's chest and shoved him back. The fuck do you think you are, bruh? Ugh. Hey, y'all need to chill the fuck out. Sasha glanced around anxiously, knowing they were making a scene. Oh, you'll fucking know why I am in a second, shithead. Now Mishka war intensified, and Sasha's voice fueled the adrenaline coursing through him. The the dialogue is starting to feel like the di <laughs> the dialogue writing in this scene really feels like mm, this was written by like zoomers. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, it feels very zoomery. <laughs> Mishka, we're not doing this right now. The uproar had already gained the attention of a few onlookers, all of them slowing down to better see hey. the fight. Uh oh. Cop. Huh? It's a cap. <laughs> uh, what's going on over here? An officer on patrol started to make his way toward them, creating his neck in an attempt to gauge the situation. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Sasha felt his stomach flip as the cop approached. This had never happened before. He was usually really good at keeping a low profile. God damn it. Sasha, we should bail. All right, I'm going to have to ask you all to calm. Hey, what do you have there in your hand? <laughs> Shit, fuck this, man. I'm out. 
Seeing that the officer was still some distance away, Taryn quickly pocketed the drug that had been spotted and took off. He disappeared into the labyrinth of shops and side streets around the tower. Sasha felt his throat th tighten and his heartbeat thundered in his ears. We can't afford this. Fuck. We have to run. Fuck. We have to run. We don't have enough money for a bribe. Go! Run. Do it. Gotta run. Gotta run. Sasha! God, the music just fucking picked up. Sasha, right? now! <laughs> this is like, what a dick. Hey, well, to be fair, the dude, was, the dude was just flirting with him and Sasha was all for it. Mishka is the one who was a dick in this situation. <laughs> Mishka got super jealous. Yeah. This is all technically Mishka's fault, not the <laughs> dude. Mishka urgently grabbed at his friend's jacket and shoved him forward. Shaking from his daze, Sasha bolted. He didn't trust himself to look back when he heard the cop give chase. Can't I run this guy? Oh no, and your fragile twink body. Sasha huffed as he sharply turned the corner and tried to keep up with Mishka. Doesn't matter, just keep running. Mishka. Mishka checked over his shoulder and suddenly grabbed Sasha's wrist, tugging him to the left. Where are we going? You didn't get a good look at us, right? We, we don't have to stand out. His footsteps were getting uneven, his legs growing heavy. <laughs> are you seriously out of breath already? All he does is smoke weed all day, man. Yeah. And eat burgers. He's not, he's not built for physical <laughs> movement. <laughs> Mishka couldn't stop himself from smiling. He shook his head as they ran. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're like a giraffe. That's basically you, Quill. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, just, because, just because you are tiny. Little, a little tiny ghost. Doesn't mean that I'm a giant. I can still punch you in the balls. Don't <laughs> step ladder. I float, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he pay? How he's supposed to buy games otherwise? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, if I had drug money, I would fucking just buy food all the time. <laughs> Mishka quickly assessed their options. The footsteps of the cop in pursuit grew louder. Up ahead was an alleyway that looked promising, but it was pretty dark down there despite the sun setting in the sky. This is dark? I mean, you turn off the neon, it's probably pretty <laughs> dark. The North Market was well lit and populated but cluttered with obstacles that could cause problems for Sasha. Run through, the, uh, run through the north market. Mm. Should we go down the shady alleyway or should we make the twink work? I mean, they could probably have a smoother escape through the alley, but like it's dark. But they could. But Sasha might have problems through the north market, but then they have so many obstacles that the cop might also have problems. Yeah. But I don't know which one, actually. <laughs> Which one do you think would be more entertaining? Yeah, here's the thing. I I always want to choose the options that increases the affection meter of like the characters. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I think. Um, hmm. Well, considering that Mishka likes the the running and the all that stuff, it probably the North Market would probably be what he would enjoy. I guess we go through the North Market. That's your call. What do you say? Okay, let's go to the North Market. <laughs> I'll tell me, wait, should I, should I allow this message? <laughs> I see it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Grom, you sicko. It's Grom's. We're not getting Should into that one. We're not getting into that one. <laughs> Should I allowed or deny it? 
just able to keep that one hidden. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I am uploading these vods on 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 YouTube as well, so. <laughs> we're gonna hide that one. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna, hide. gonna not lie, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Groms. <laughs> But yeah, we're not gonna we end. We saw it though, Groms. Yeah, we saw it we though. We saw it. We saw it. <laughs> but we're not gonna unpack that right now, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and. They can't see my Sydney stuff for eternity yet. Don't worry, it won't be shown on stream. We're yeah. gonna, I'm gonna deny it. You're good. It's gone. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to block the term. Oh, well. You know. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this will be a funny conversation down the line. <laughs> Mishka motioned toward the market, dashing toward it. Push your people and keep your head low. We can lose them in the crowd. Sasha stumbled a bit and then took off running like his life depended on it. Mishka was close on his tail, occasionally looking over his shoulder to make sure they were putting distance between themselves and the cup. Shit, my god, this is so hard. Don't stop, Sasha, keep going. The words of encouragement didn't help at all, and Sasha's legs grew heavier and heavier the further they went. I seriously can't. Ugh, this is torture. Oh my god, this. this 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 man is made out of fucking twigs. <laughs> he can't you find us from your whining alone. <laughs> Weaving in and out of, th of the throngs of people slowed them down just as much as it concealed them. It was hard to tell which way their pursuer had gone. The tip of Sasha's shoe caught on the uneven uneven pavement and he stumbled forward, just barely catching himself with his hands. Despite the situation, Mishka found himself cackling in Sasha's fall, though he still helped him up. Are you kidding me? Come on, man, we're just walking at this point. You can head up the south side and catch the bus. Okay. He didn't have the energy to snap back, not after this parkour sprint. Let's call that parkour. Just I was a little further. Sasha had hit the point where he felt so miserable that he wasn't bothered by the other strangers watching as they ran past. Mishka jogged around the corner towards the chain link fence. Without stopping, he rapidly climbed up and over, dropping down onto the other side. What? Sasha's eyes widened his heart sank at the thought of trying to climb that fence. His, he abruptly slowed down and the pain of their escape hit him all at once. His face radiated with heat and his feet throbbed. The chain link fence shook when Sasha grabbed it, but he didn't move. There's no... There's no fucking way. He shook his head Sasha. in defeat. No, no, Sasha. There is a fucking way. And it's you getting up and over this fence. Sasha reached a little higher, but his hand felt numb when he tried gripping it hard enough to lift his weight off the ground. Oh my god, Sasha. You know, you would think a drug dealer would be like fit, considering they would probably have to run around. Not this twink. Not this twink. <laughs> Chuckling despite the situation, Mishka shook his head. <laughs> Dude, you are so out of it. I'll be sure to practice my fence hopping. Hey. Stop! Turn around and put your hands up. The space between them and the officer was rapidly closing. Jesus Christ, Sasha, come on. Sasha closed his eyes and leaned his forehead against the fence. I can't. He turned toward the cop, lifting his weakened arms. Fuck it. Mishka grabbed at the chain link and scaled the fence as swiftly as before, dropping down between Sasha and the approaching officer. Alright, you got us. You didn't have to. But it feel like it mattered now. Slowly, they both raised their hands and eased down onto their knees, surrendering. Oh my god. We went to jail! Out of metal doors closing echoed loudly in the holding cell Sasha and Mishka found themselves in. Although it was clean and had a little barred window near the ceiling, it was a bit cramped. Luckily, sharing with strangers wasn't something they had to worry about. 
Alone in the cell, Sasha and Mishka sat quietly on a metal bench near the back. A, ba a baton suddenly struck the bars in front of them, jarring them both from their thoughts. Alright, give me your seat cards. Come on, bring them over here. Don't have all day. When neither of them moved to stand up, the officer hit the bars again. This time was even louder than the last. Hey! You gotta listen to that problem. I said bring me your C cards. With a disgruntled noise and a slight eye roll, Mishka eased off himself off the metal bench and dug into his pocket, searching for the card. Sasha wasn't far behind him, also looking in his pockets. Before Sasha could stand, Mishka held out his hand for his friend's C card. Once he had the cards, he approached the officer behind the bars. Hey. Here. He squeezed his hand between the bars and held the cards out to the officer. Took you long enough. The officer swiped both cards from Mishka's hand and then turned to walk down the tile hall. Hey, we'll get those back, right? Yep, after we process your run your prints, get comfy, you'll be in there a while. Mishka gripped the bars with the cell door inside as the officer's footsteps faded down the hall. You are so bad at running away from people. Sasha shrugged and gave a wry smile, tucking his hands into his jacket pockets as he slumped back against the concrete wall. You're you're both in the cell in the jail cell. <laughs> what do you expect? I'm no athlete. Yeah, it's very evident. It's very evident. Like if this is how you are running, I don't like, I don't know how you're gonna stand. Just you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Here's the thing, stamina. Stamina works in different ways, okay? <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> whatever, whatever could you mean, Otome? <laughs> whatever could you be implying? Shut up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mishka turned away from the bars and leaned back against them, watching Sasha. Athlete, Sasha? It doesn't take an athlete to run a block. Mishka grinned and ran his hand through his hair, laughing with a slow shake of his head. Hey, hey, hey. My talents lie elsewhere, okay? Running is overrated anyway. Well, we can start training you on how to jump fences, but we'll start with baby gates. Too high. Center blocks. A stick. There we go. <laughs> Mishka chuckled. So... Lifting his hand to Arab awkwardly at the back of his neck, Mishka glanced toward the hall visible through the cell bars. Sasha looked away. What? Hey. I guess I should apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should apologize. It's literally all your fault. Yeah, it's literally all your fault. If you didn't make a scene, then he would have had like a like a smooth transaction going on, man. For real. You guess? Okay, okay, I might have. Okay. I did fuck up back there. That was pretty uncool of me. Yeah, you got jealous. That guy was a tool, though. You have to admit. Sasha's gaze remained averted. Yeah, him and most of my clients, but I still have to do my job. I can't do that from inside a jail cell. Okay, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Is sorry going to clean my record and get me out of here? Despite the tension, Mishka smiled a little and casually crossed his arms. I'm sure I could work something out. Ooh, he's got criminal connections. He's got connections. Wow. Oh boy. Ooh. Oi. Mishka turned sharply. I don't know why I made I made the cop fucking New York for some reason. <laughs> That's just the first voice that popped into my head. <laughs> the cop is a New Yorker now. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is future New York. <laughs> I'm from fucking Brooklyn or something. Yeah, from fucking Brooklyn. I don't even know if that's what Brooklyn accent sounds like. I don't know how they sound like either. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> uh, turned sharply to face the officer who now stood at the cell doors. All right, uh, we ran your seat cards. Get a phone call and you, Pinky. Got a lot of explaining to do. You know how many knives we pulled off you? Last I watched as Mishka started for the door and followed the cop out of the holding cell. Together, Mishka rounded the corner behind the officer. Alright, good night, Groms. Night, Groms. Stopping by and yeah. cursing this, uh. <laughs> Thank you for give, giving us the Groms lore. All right, you got 10 minutes and one call. Make it a good one. That's... Don't talk much, do you? Whatever. Phone's over there. Wipe it down when you're done. Mishka approached the row of ancient-looking phone lines and proceeded to pick up the receiver. And he did. A small screen projected above the number pad. With practiced ease, he dialed a familiar number and waited quietly. He watched as the screen flickered before faintly displaying a pixelated face. Oh god. It's me. I'm in jail. I need you to get us out. One moment. Mishka glanced up from the phone, sweeping his gaze over the people in the lobby. Alright. I'm here. Why are you in jail? That doesn't matter. Can you just get us out? By the way, this cop gets very intimate with the twink. I can smell it. Because <laughs> oh everybody's gay in this world, okay? <laughs> us? Who's us? Someone else there with you? Yeah, a friend. We were cut in the wrong place at the wrong time. Doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Is your C card not working? They should have let you out when they scanned the encryption. Do you really want to play 20 questions with me right now? I've got a limited time on this thing. And Sasha doesn't have the same C card as me. I'm not leaving him here. Just call them and bail us out. Sasha. Dima, seriously, the time limit. Okay, I'll call the station. Mishka, this can't be a situation more than once. You being in jail is a huge inconvenience for us, and it's reckless on your part. Because he got jealous that his friend was being flirty with a client. For real. Mm -hmm. Sure, whatever. I'm serious. Be careful, please. It's are hot right now. Keep your head down. Alright, get off my case. Mishka. What? Be careful. Yep. Bye. And please stop running from the cop. Mishka abruptly set the receiver back onto the hook, his eyes closing with aggravation. The cop behind him eyed him like a hawk, occasionally glancing over Mishka's shoulder at the now black screen on the landland. You done? Come on. Mishka complied and turned to follow the officer back down the hall and toward the holding cell. And a minute had passed before the sound of static blared from the officer's walkie-talkie. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I don't have my radio one ready. No! <laughs> and the camera going to smith it over. <laughs> I don't think I have it ready. Hold on, let me see. Um, Is it this one? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Hey, Smith, go ahead. Over. I was still in the holding cell D4. They're free to go. Over. What? Alright. Affirmative. 
Over and out. After a quick turn from the receiver, the signal ended. With an exasperated sigh, the cop turned to Mishka with a look of disdain. Friends and I places won't always be able to bail you out, punk. <laughs> I'll need my phone and uh, I'll lay my knives back. Hey! Your stuff's on the counter there. I'll get your friend. I'll go. I'll go get your friend. <laughs> Mishka went you to get him too if you want. I don't know. <laughs> it's a two for one deal. <laughs> Mishka went to collect his confiscated confiscated things and silently pocketed them one by one. He slid his phone back into his back pocket and waited for Sasha. Uh, they're letting us go just like that. Yep. How? Grab your phone. Do you want me to come back overnight? You want me to come back over tonight? Honestly, I just want to sleep. I've already called Ari to come pick me up. You did run a lot. Besides, if you're over all the time, when will you have time to miss me? Oh, jeez. Just, just date already, you two. Just, just, just kiss right now. Just kiss, date, fuck, whatever. You the, the sexual tension between you guys. All the time. Oh god. He really likes Sasha. Jeez. I know. God. It, it's like, it, it really, you know, I said it as a joke, but it really is becoming, um, like yandere almost. Right, like, at this point, how are they not dating? They they cuddle in bed, and they, they just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't let it get to your head. I'll just call or text later. I won't answer because I'll be asleep. Dumb. Tell, uh, tell Ari I said hi. Sasha. Speak of the devil and they shall appear. Wait, well, is this a guy or a girl? Who is this? Hey, Ari. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, I love her design. <laughs> She's so cool. Before Arisha could respond, Mishka was already on his way out. Come on. All right, fine. You are good to go, Sasha. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, let's go. The sound of two car doors closing echoed in the dimly lit parking garage, soon followed by the roar of the car's engine coming to life. Arisha clicked their seatbelt into place and glanced over at their friend, fingers shining on the steering wheel. I already know what you're going to say. Good, but you know how tired I am of bailing you out of these spats between you two. Do you know I'm missing my self-defense class to come pick you up? What even happened? It was just a normal drop and Mishka didn't like the guy. Some cops saw that was it. Uh-huh, that was it. As if Mishka's jealous tendencies haven't gotten you into shit like this before. Okay! <laughs> Dang! At this point, Sasha's just kind of a, a dick and just playing with Mishka. Right? Like, there's no way Sasha doesn't know Mishka has a crush on him. Arisha shook their heads slowly. Their manicured fingers loosened their grip on the wheel as the car turned out of the parking space. Am I wrong? No. Look, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just worried you're wasting your energy on a dead end. I know. Does the water have to be over your head where you realize you're in too deep? You cannot get thrown in jail again. You're a dealer. How do you even get out? No one can afford bail in this city. I don't know. Mishka went to make his phone call and after that the cop came back and let us out. That's shady as fuck, Sasha. 
What's worse is that he wouldn't tell me how. And I did ask. He seems real choosy on what I should and should not know. That's Mishka, though. He's secretive. But not with me. Apparently he is, from what you're telling me. Maybe they're right. Maybe you should be asking questions about your not-boyfriend, Sasha. Sasha looked out the window, watching the shops and streetlights fly by. The roads were almost empty at this time of night. Why do you put up with this? Why not just tell him this isn't working? Because it's clearly not. There is no this. We're not in a relationship. Oh no? Could have fooled me and like everyone else, man. Yeah! You're obviously in some kind of a relationship or like a fucking situationship. You, you, you cuddle! <laughs> That's so guess to me! These two just like naturally cuddled! God. Seriously? We're not dating. So then what are y'all? Because whatever it is, it doesn't look good from where I'm standing. Are you friends with benefits? No, ugh, I don't know. Can we please? Sasha. Sasha, there's all kinds of relationships out there. And babe, whether you like it or not, you're in one. Friends fight all the time. You get so pissed at me once. You, uh, uh, you got so pissed at me once when we were building your bed frame. You didn't talk to me for a week. That was a bed frame, Sasha. This is jail. I just picked you up from jail. Fine, I'll add don't get arrested to my list of goals right next to not eating before bedtime. Yeah, well, at least think about what I said. I really don't like seeing you like this. Tires eased to a stop next to, a, to the curb beside Sasha's apartment complex. With the engine still running, Arisha put the vehicle in park. Almost immediately after the car stopped, Sasha pulled the door handle and stepped out. Uh huh. Thanks for picking me up. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and if I miss another class with my hot instructor because of you, it'll be another week of not talking. Call me later. Sasha couldn't help a small smile from forming as he rolled his eyes and shut the car door. He watched the little hatchback pull away from the curb and rumble down the street. So then, what are y'all? Sasha sighed before heading into his apartment building. Fuck, I'm so hungry. I gotta stop waking up so late. <laughs> <laughs> With a slow yawn, oh. you wanna stretch too? I am stretching. <laughs> <laughs> With a slow yawn, Sasha headed down the sidewalk and looked for a place to grab something to eat. He passed by quite a few good restaurants, but none of them were exactly what he was craving. The craving itself was hard to pin down though. What do I even wanna eat? God. Can't even tell if this is a what? guy or a girl. <laughs> Let's just be as robotic with it as possible. Good morning, sunshine. Got a pickup for you. Okay, when? At 1300 today. It's at the flower shop. Let's just go, it's 13 right now. <laughs> yeah. It's 1300 right now. Sure is. Get moving. <laughs> Winky, smiley face. But jeez, he only just woke up, it's 1 p.m. Good lord, I die, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. What do I do with it? Sell it? You'll drop it off at Club Trinity later tonight. I'll be there. See you then. Okay. <laughs> okay. What a tool. So much for grabbing something to eat first. Sasha pocketed his phone and sighed deeply, his stomach rumbling. He could see the shop already. The sheer number of potted plants and hanging baskets of flowers clustered around the storefront were a dead giveaway. At least it smelled nice. 
that a purple sports car in this part of town? Park in front of the small inner I city. Thought the, I thought the car was talking for a second. <laughs> I thought the car was talking. No, the, the car, the car is like a smart car. <laughs> Parked in front of the small inner city flower shop was a sleek car that cost an easy quarter million. It stuck out like a sore thumb, thumb in the most, in the mostly vacant parking spaces in front of the building. Sasha glanced at the car as he walked by, though the windows were too tinted to see who was inside. He pushed open the door to the flower shop and gave a soft jingle as he entered. Rows and rows of assorted oh. plants lined the walls, filling the air with the fresh scent of countless flowers. The fragrance was strong but overall quite nice, and Sasha breathed it in appreciatively. He paused at the entrance for a moment before approaching the cashier. Hey uh, I guess I need... Oh shoot, I forgot to mop the back. It should be... Sasha, hey! Hey, Siren. Working the double shift? Yep, my rent says I can't work under 12 hours a day. I'm joking, but not really. I hear that, I my hear balance. That. <laughs> That's me! Sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> Their colors are like so similar, okay? I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, they're like the same shade of blue. Hmm, I hear that. My balance is looking pretty sad right now. Yeah. Anyway, are you here to help me stock the flesh of the shop? Please. Nope, sorry. I'm picking up a shipment today. Would have been filled within the last hour or so, I think, under Alexi. Aw, oh, man. I could have really used the help. I'll check the sheet to see if it's ready. If it's in the back, though, I'll have to wait. Is something wrong? Someone from corporate is back there. Things are chaotic right now. Huh? Chaotic? The flower shop? How bad can it get? Oh, you don't know the half of it. Siren leaned over the counter a bit and motioned for Sasha to come over closer. Curious, Sasha obliged. There was a break-in last night. Some real spooky shit. So they sent someone in to check on everything, I guess. Even worse, apparently a dead dealer was found in an alley not far from here. Shit's crazy, Sasha. I've never seen, seen it like this before. And don't even get me started on the old ladies coming in for their poppies. They're the worst of them all. The mention of a dead dealer made the back of Sasha's neck tingle. The dealer? Were they one of ours? I don't think so, but I don't remember either. It was only one dealer, but still. Be careful, Sasha. Abruptly, the door leading to the back room opened. Oh, wow, okay. Emerging from the stockroom was a tall built man carrying a plum pad from someone sent from corporate who was pretty casually dressed. Okay, that guy is definitely a bouncer. Flower shops don't have bouncers. Siren flashed Sasha a glance as if to alert him of the approaching man. Oh, that was fast. All done back there then? Oh yeah, one second, let me find it. And okay, here you go. As if his life depended on how fast he could comply, Siren thrust out his arm and offered the man a white binder. <laughs> I'm glad to see the baby's breath is selling well. He's a softer <laughs> voice than I imagined he would. <laughs> Sorry, that's yeah, that's the wrong binder. Let me just quickly ducking down behind the counter. Siren searched frantically for the correct binder and popped back up a few seconds later. Okay, yeah, purple binder for inventory. Here you go. Selling flowers and drugs is hard to keep track of sometimes. Thanks. Oh, shipments. Sasha had a shipment. One second, Sasha. Sorry, let me go get that. Before the end of his sentences, Siren had already vaulted over the counter and briskly briskly headed into the back. Once Siren had slipped away, the room was filled with silence. 
The only sounds in the room now were the quiet taps of the man typing on his tablet as he compared the notes on the binder to his own. Sasha finally broke the silence. So, flowers. Here's business, I see. The man looked up from his tablet. No! Oh! My boss would oh. argue it. Oh! 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 Great! Oh, okay! Hello! Hello! Hi! Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you for the thank you for the raid, Yureo. Hi, welcome. We're, we're playing a little bit of a BL uh, visual novel. Yeah, and I'm here too. Yeah, Pro is being the voices of all the of all the anime boys. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, welcome everyone. Um I'm Yugiri Atome. I'm a lady in white entity VTuber and I and I'm a horror VTuber technically, but right now we're playing a BL visual novel. So <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. And I have Crow with me right now. Say hi Crow. Hi. Hi, I'm Crow. <laughs> You can also that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Yeah. This is Crow. He he's he's stinky. That's all you need to know. It's not true. She's the stinky one. You're the stinky one. Shut up, Corby Stink. <sighs> Welcome. <laughs> this is what you should expect of this stream of this of 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 the dynamic between us. It's a. a elementary school level insults being <laughs> lobbied at each other the entire time um to to then flip off on a tangent about um being bad at video games but yeah that's 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 usually how it goes yeah hmm. we should talk like we're five years old at the playground <laughs> that's true it's very true yeah we, we 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 share a single brain cell and it bounces back and forth um <clears throat> anyways so yeah yeah, I think is, it's, is everything good? Yeah, everything's good. I think we're just getting to that point in time where it's like <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna I was I was gonna say, um <laughs> we've, been going, we've been going a little long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's getting to that point in time where it's like, oh god, internet is getting like super fucky wucky. Yeah, but I think we're good. Un, un... Yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, back to the game. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm voicing this guy. Yeah, you're voicing this guy. <laughs> what, 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 what do you sound like? Um, <clears throat> it was something simple. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, thank you for the follow, La Dumar. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you for all the follows and all the support, everyone. <clears throat> My boss would argue it is. If a single petal in this shop ends up damaged, then it'll be hell to pay for it. Wait, are we really talking about flowers right now? Or something else? Wow, your boss sounds kinda... <laughs> oh, it's the purple car talking! <laughs> oh my god, it's back! <laughs> the the, real, the hyper-realistic car is back! <laughs> Sasha's thoughts were caught off by incessant honking from the vehicle outside the shop. Huh? That's my cue. Well, I hope you... <laughs> well, I hope you honk. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Jesus. Take care. <laughs> That's so annoying, oh shit. Good. You gotta love it. Good, gotta love it. <laughs> With that, the man closed the binder and turned to leave, the bell on the door chiming faintly as he pushed through and left the store. Sasha peered out the window, watching the man get into the driver's side of the purple car. Man, I wish I had money. Okay, phew! Sorry that took so long. For some reason, I had to dig take to find this one. Anyway, here you. Oh, did Vadimli? 
that guy. It, that's you. That's you. That's me. Fucking. The, that. <laughs> this is how the both, both of the names start with S, and then they're just almost the same, almost the same shade of blue. That guy from corporate. Yeah, didn't get to say goodbye. Oh well. With a shrug, Siren held out a rectangular purple box wrapped in a lavender ribbon. A small white logo was printed on, on the lid. Anyway, here's your shipment, and remember what I said, yeah? About being careful? Sasha picked up the ornate box, lifting and rotating it as he examined the packaging. Hmm. This looks more like a cake box. Good, then you can tell people it's just cake. See ya, Sasha. Sasha gave a light chuckle, having no complaints about the inconspicuous shipment. Later. After his goodbyes, he pushed against the door and left. The sun overhead was intense, and Sasha squinted against the glare, lifting a hand to his forehead to shield his eyes. With his other hand cradling the box under his arm, he walked toward the nearest bus stop. Sasha took a seat at the empty bus stop, thankful for the shade the top of the bench provided. He set the box in his lap and stared at it. Another night, they found a dead dealer in an alley. The longer you stared at the box, the tenser his brows became. I drop it off at Club Trinity later tonight. I'll be there. Sasha didn't notice his thumb starting to fray the cardboard tab on the box as he got lost in his thoughts. Be careful, Sasha. He fished his phone out of his jacket and sighed as he swiped through his contacts, his stomach rumbling loudly. Pulling up Mishka's chat box, he typed a quick message. Ooh. Ooh. What do you want to do? Let's just, let's just meet up for food. Yeah. Yeah. The sound of labored breathing accompanied the steady impact of shoes on concrete while Mishka jogged down the street. A single earbud beeped to inform him of new text. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, well, there's that tank top again. Fucking just the tank tops, man. About time, it's you. <laughs> About time, you message. It's been almost a day. He slowed to a stop near the corner of the street, one hand pulling out his phone while the other wiped his forehead. Mishka glanced at the message and dropped his so shoulders as he read. Ugh. I guess he's not upset anymore. He briefly glanced over his shoulder before eyeing the message again. Yes, I'll go. I'm kinda hungry anyway. Responding with a simple, yeah, you smirk it one hour, he pocketed the phone. He had an hour to jog home, shower, get changed, and commute to the east side. That was totally possible, right? With a quick shrug and a grin, Mishka started jogging again. There you go, sliding across the screen. Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Why? Why? Why would? Why does the? Why does the skin tight suit look like that? <laughs> what? He looks like he looks like a he looks like a knockoff version of that One Punch Man character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed of Sonic, Speed of Sonic. Sound of yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Could have even given like shorts or something. Just. <laughs> I know, just a crotch out and everything. Good lord. <laughs> okay, the narrow aisles of the outdoor market were lined with kiosks and food stands almost as far as the eye could see. Oop. You're still there? Yeah. Okay. Because I see my... my what happened? <laughs> I see my, my frame rate dropping. Just... My bit oh. rate dropping. <laughs> I was gonna say... <laughs> I was gonna say, we, we might also need to probably wrap this up soon. Yeah, we probably need to wrap, it, wrap this up soon. It's, it's getting a little late my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... <clears throat> let's, let's go down until we... We, I think, where it should be a good stopping place. Crowds of mm -hmm. people swarm around the various booths and wove between each other as they walked down the bustling street. It was an easy place to blend into and an easy place to get lost within. Mishka stood near an egg waffle booth while he waited for Sasha to arrive. Let me see. 
Uh, it shouldn't be too much longer, right? <sighs> With a quick glance down at his phone screen, he sighed. Finally, Sasha sauntered up behind his tall friend and gently slapped Mishka's arm in greeting. Oh, I thought we were going to slap his ass. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're late. <laughs> the picture is going, he's dropping like crazy, so... Do you think this is a good place to like a uh, to like stop? Yeah, yeah, this this might this, yeah this might be a good place to stop before the next scene starts. I think we're good. Yeah, so I'm gonna save here. There we go. So we're gonna stop here because my my, my internet wants to get to get In crazy right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we played. That I was think fun though. Yeah. Is, is, is... <laughs> I I feel like. <laughs> I, I feel like you could definitely tell that uh, this is probably the studio's like first game that they've done. Yeah, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the, the... Like not, it's, it's not like in a, in a mean way, but it definitely feels like the writing is very um, zoomerish and like. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I think since it it, it it seems like to be their first game, so it's like I think it's fine for them to like you know include stuff that. Th of things they like more in like some of the oh, yeah. cringy dialogues and stuff oh yeah this this feels this feels like you know what this game feels like to me what? if it feels like if this came out during the tumblr era oh my god it would it would be big it would it you know have I mean? exploded yeah, yeah yeah like like if would have came out around like the um what is it what is that one dramatical murder uh, oh, like that, around that <laughs> era like it get it gives the same vibes, you know. Hell yeah! <laughs> Fucking dramatical murder. <laughs> you know what? I, exactly. I don't think I've ever actually like even like. I know of dramatical murder. I've seen like a few uh, scenes here and there, but I never, I never actually like watched the anime or like paid attention to the game. If I'm being honest. I too have seen images of sun scenes from the game. Very specific scenes. <laughs> Uh, although I don't think that I would actually want to go and play Dramatical Murder. There's, there's too many guys. Yeah. There's, it's too long. I, I want a shorter experience. <laughs> and I know for this game, there's only like two love interests, so it's, it's good. We're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you everyone for coming or stopping by. Thank you so much to Urea for the raid, and also thank you to Crow for voicing all the, all the lines. <laughs> the anime boys no problem yeah. i'm always here to voice some anime boys yeah mm. <laughs> i can't wait for when you get to like certain certain scenes <laughs> i already had to say blowjob earlier so 